Podcast Speakers TV or uh, television. It's your boy, Sean. It's cool, boy, G. You know it's your favorite cup in the kitchen. Favorite cup in the, the motherfucking kitchen. kitchen. <laughs> hey, man, there ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Hey, uh, if you watch it, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Please also, uh, follow us on all platforms at Bad Speakers Television or Bad Speakers TV. That's all you got to type in. Or if you're old school, you've been a day one Bad Speakers fan, type in Bad Speakers Podcast. Y'all know what's going on. We are here. The it's gang so gets here. Mm -hmm. uh, Skeet had to take a hiatus. He got some personal issues going on. He'll be back soon, though. Yes, sir, Other than that, how you all guys are doing here today? Cool. We don't cool trust you. man. We what? We don't trust you. <laughs> <laughs> don't trust oh, hey, man. I've been waiting on this one. I've been waiting on this one. Oh, yeah. We're going to get into that off top, man. Fuck that. Hey, but first, man. Uncle Fred. <laughs> I got it. I ain't going to let you do that, son. Hey, what's your name? Oh, oh, no, bro. Uncle Fred, oh, cool. Man, Uncle Fred, man. God damn, hey, man. Uncle look like, he, he was, he was, in my idea, his his age appropriately fresh. Man. I agree with you on that. His age appropriate fresh. See what it is, though? We don't iron no more. That what did it, bro. <laughs> Ain't that, I don't just feel like a polo gonna go out of style. Mm. Polo a classic. Like a polo, if, if, po just a polo type shirt? Or just polo in general? Polo in general, man. Man, we just, man, about two years ago, we would just polo down. We drove. You still wear polo and be fair. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But I just I just think we ain't used to seeing a crease in the pan. And he should have put them two sweet, <laughs> them, them two large sweet tea down before you add the question. I think it was the whole how he walked up with the, you know, with a water burger. Hold on, what, what, did, what did he say, bro? When he had the back in hand, what did he say? Oh, ain't our friend. Ain't our friend. <laughs> hey, man. Uncle Fred, man. Pop, pop. Hey, I ain't mad at you, uh, man. Man, I feel one time about shit, man. Oh, oh, I've been one time. talking about a bitch. That nigga ass, saw man. it ready to kill him. Yeah, talking about shit, man. For one, he should have been. He shouldn't have been trying to appeal to the crowd of them women that he was talking to or whatever the fuck he was talking to. You right. know what I'm saying? Straight up. That's when you fucked up it, and now you look for validation from these people who don't even understand you at your fucking age. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, all fresh hell at the goddamn family reunion. <laughs> hey, Good man. guy. But we gonna keep this shit real. We gonna keep this shit real. Now that outfit wasn't talking about nothing, man. man. Like all these different new balances out here with these different flavors <laughs> and shit. You got the new balance that, that, that like you got on the. The class. The sixty dollar new boy ain't nobody picking them bitches. He got up, he got a new fella sitting man, in the middle on, of the floor. Man. He's in the middle of the floor. And you gonna do you can be you can wear a polo fit, you know what I'm saying? Down to the flow polo fit, but you gotta put all that shit together. I'm talking my, about like young Dro. That nigga, that nigga outfit one time about nothing. You a thing, color yeah, coordinator. And then that's another thing. You can't be really just too matchy matchy. I feel like not today. Right. Not today. But that, that's a whole nother deeper level. I'm just saying. Listen, I understand. Uh, thought he was. Go ahead, G. Go ahead. I'm not about to say. You know, you showing your age. If you got a collar shirt on with baggy pants, bro. God damn. Man. Man, them, them God pants. damn. Them he pants. had baggy pants on too, man. Baggy, baggy, baggy pants back though, man. Not with no collar shirt today. What you mean? Baggy pants with a collar shirt. Man, that time we step out, y'all swear. Baggy God, clothes. Shirt. You, 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 can, you can slick. Ain't that wrong with baggy clothes? I'm just talking about baggy pants with a collar shirt. Cause, cause I'm gonna be real, like, like you see a lot of them old rich motherfuckers going back to super, super baggy shit, but not baggy pants with just man, them, them stone washed ass jeans. Hey <laughs> man, with, with, I'm talking about not, not a single cut rip in them. No motherfucker just straight hey. up and that, like, like that nigga finna go do carpentry or something. Man. <laughs> Levi's finest. Them one ain't no Levi, man. Them bitches, that was some Lee jeans, man. Hey man, they took the Still vibes Lee. off that motherfucker. Y'all gotta get all on, man. I ain't gonna let y'all do all but, like but, that. But, 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 this is what I hate though, right? All the motherfucking women in, in the comments and shit. He is Fred. We ain't get Uncle Time of the day. They know they won. The nigga sitting right beside him, rolled up a three five, got on them motherfucking mirror jeans, right beside him. Not talking about this nigga Fred. Nah, y'all just don't like that man getting joned out. The problem is he was he was around the wrong motherfucker trying to, to trying to get validation from them. You how, old, how old you think the crowd? Was? I don't know. You know, what but saying? he could tell they won. They were younger than him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Why he asking them that? I ain't gonna ask nobody. But I'm, <laughs> I'm Fred Boy. They did a one. They did, did a one right here. No, hey. but then now he, you know what I'm saying. He that motherfucker take a bitch and go to corral on a date, boy. Hey man, Aunt look like he used to trap back in the day, and he's still in the groove. Yeah, he's still man. in the groove. Look, man, Aunt look like but he just did five and he ain't no goddamn deal what's going on. <laughs> He still, got that, out. Like, he still got that jail rushed on him, man. He got that jail high rushed on him. Man. That's all you got, Leo. You know what I'm just saying? He do, man. Hey, man, but look, let, let, let's, let's get into the, the real stuff, man. Hey, man, we don't trust you, man. 
Hey, man. We do not trust you, mm -hmm. man. Shout out to Kendrick, man. It's, it's, Kendrick. it's Kendrick, Future, and feeling the fucking bank like Charlemagne. <laughs> Top three. Top three. Right now. Kendrick, Future, fill in the blank like Charlemagne said. Betrayal never comes from the enemy. Hey, you mean? The fuck that means you. Oh, no, I don't know. First of all, whose side you on? I just want to say some shit. Hey, man. I, who, uh, who, it, who, it, it, who, don't ask me. I'm going to be on you. No, I ask whose side I'm on. Uh, man, ain't no nobody's side, man. Shit, I am. I'm a Plutonian. I'm picking a side. Man, I'm future. fucking with the wheels. Fuck See, I don't think. I would have been Kendrick and Future. I don't think. Now, now. First of all, let's acknowledge that my boy on pace to do 220. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And then I just seen a comment. I was, I was talking about, you know, I'm always in little debates on Facebook and shit. Right. So I, I was in a debate, and the girl was like, that one song carried a uh, future whole album. I mm. said, well. What the one with Kendrick? Yeah. You know what they said? So, but I'm not mad if yeah. you say that because. I'm biased because right. I'm a fan. Okay. So I'm not mad if you say that. So I asked her. I was like, okay, on Drake, before I say this, I, I'm also a Drake fan. Right. But on Drake, last three albums, he only had one song carry two on. Hold on. Wait a minute now. What you, what, what, what you uh, mean? uh, what that Jimmy Chu with, with, with 21 Savage uh, off there, never mind. Facts. That's facts. Carry that whole oh, yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah you're right. You're talking about that? No. All right. Now, now her loss had hits. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Now, first place and shooter ain't carrying all for my dog. And the song with um, Sexy Red. Yeah. Been that ass Yeah, over. but that ain't the biggest first place and first, first, person, no. first person shooter. No, I ain't being that. No. Mm -mm. I get what you're saying, though. Yeah, you're right. I, I'm, I'm like, but I'm like, man, shit, man. I like the project, and I'm still listening. You know, it just came out. It's too soon to give it a. Uh, you know, yeah. speaker rating right now. Yeah, I just now. started listening to it. Too. Which I, let's let's go. Let's get into what everybody talking about. Man, we gotta give right. our, our breakdown. Man. They like, like that. Like like that, man. Diverse from Kendrick. Like done done. Really, just fuck, man. Man, drop one bird, man. The whole goddamn hip hop. Everything on hip hop on fire right now, bro. I like that. We shit, needed though. it. I like that shit though, bro. Cause it's like, nah, I, I feel Kendrick, man. Ain't no goddamn look. This shit remind you of like basketball. You know how they say in the, in the new NBA. Niggas act like they can't be enemies. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody, you know, this 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 brun era was like they on a the banana boat, motherfuckers friends, everybody, everybody too friendly in sports. Um instead of just, you know what I'm saying, going to each other head like how they used to do back in the day. So it's the same thing in hip hop. So you saying they like, back in Yeah, yeah, like in, in hip hop, niggas going at each other next. You know, I, I like when niggas go at each other next. Like, when did hip hop become where everybody just like each other? Yeah, I mean, you know what I'm yeah, I so see, I like, feel what you're saying. And, and, and I'm gonna be real with you, bro. I feel like I feel like Drake be trying to defuse shit too because he always be trying to make it seem like, oh yeah, me, Cole, and Kendrick, or uh, Javi. Be. He, he he don't said it multiple times. I don't know if he just trying to sidetrack people's mind from the simple fact that, hey, bro, you know, y'all are getting compared. But Drake be on some shit like. Man, ain't nobody. We all kings. Y'all ain't got to. No, 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 no. No, I think I, I, I think you no, referring no, no, to I'm, J Cole. I'm, I'm, huh? I think you referring to J Cole. Do that. No. Yeah. J Cole. Yeah, J Cole the one do that. Yeah. Drake. No, Drake, no. Drake don't even Drake, mention. Drake don't say it all three of their names on no, some goddamn no, no, weed. No, 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 no. no, no. Let's, let's, get, let's get the facts correct now. Okay. Hold on you now. talking about? I will let you cook. Okay. Drake took shots on first person shooter. Okay. Saying just me and Cole, me and Cole, me and oh, Cole. Yeah. Yep. He did. All he that right, shit right, before right, that. He, he was yeah. talking about how it was just him and Cole top to what you say before that on the, before that part came on the song. Um Who the GOAT? Who I can't remember oh, all yeah, that shit. Real, oh, no, but got you, yeah. Then he just started saying just me and Cole. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I, I'm saying I can go back further than that, bro. That nigga you go cool, back, man. you go back to no friends in the industry. Okay. On goddamn what album? Certified lover boy. Certified lover boy. When he's saying, you know, they asking who the goat. Better not talk about the summer. All I know, you yep. go. You know what I'm saying? Like you can go back to all. It, we know where the beef came from. That controller verse, but I like the competition. I like that yeah, shit, man. Fuck all this, Can't, like you really said. Fuck all though, that yeah. friendly shit, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, my uh, man, we got, we got. Like I say, man, one of my favorite sayings. We got to stop acting like that. Damn, Drake ain't been scared of Kendrick for a long time now. Of course, you know what I'm saying. I mean, I know everybody like Drake, and you know Kendrick music ain't for everybody. But mm -hmm. the man said in that goddamn verse, hey man, Prince outlived Mike Jack, man. Shit, yeah. your best music just a light pack. 
Ooh. So like we can go down to some verses on here. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like saying, go down man. what this man was talking about on this right. verse, man. You know what I mean? Like real, real like, facts. What would that nigga start off with on that motherfucker? Uh, we would just listen to listen to it in the car. That's in the car. What that nigga said? Damn. Oh. Fuck sneak dissing. Yeah, fuck sneak. First place, well, first, first person, person shooter. Hold that cane with three switches. switches. Man, shit. <laughs> hey, hey man, man. hey man. Nigga Kendrick, Kendrick, Kendrick went at they top, man. Went at they top, man. Kendrick they went at they top, top, man. The fuck the big three, nigga. It's just big me, nigga. Like, yeah, nah, man, for real. Like, nigga, he said in the back. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite huh? part, huh? Niggas bump. <laughs> Hey man, I was at work down there, got fired trying to play that motherfucker. <laughs> he said, "What?" You know what fuck me up though. I was trying to read it. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to read it on yeah. Instagram because you know academics is on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he mad. Got, he mad. Yeah, he yeah, mad. yeah. I, I peeped that. Yeah, yeah. I don't like that shit. Man, that nigga, that nigga, double entendre. That nigga said a bunch of goofy niggas with a check. And I had to think about. it. I told a couple of the cars, "What the fuck, man?" Like, okay, I know like a bunch of lame man niggas who got money. Right. Like we see that all the time. But think about it. Drake signed with Nike. Mm -hmm. Goofy nigga with a Nike with a check. Nike check. I was like, oh, oh this nigga, he got it. This nigga yeah. Kendrick sick, bro. Like, yeah. oh, 40, what do you say? 40 be legit. Some shit he yeah, said no, about no, that 40 shit. Water. 40 is your home. 40 water. Niggas don't be legit. What the fuck he said? 40 is your is your man out of uh who make your beats for you and shit, right. but at the same time saying like E40, you know what I'm saying? Man, that nigga does sick. Cause bro. don't E40 got a song called like clicking up? Yep, that's yeah, what, that's what I'm saying. saying. You yeah, know what like, I'm saying? Like, be legit out there. Play that shit. That's crazy. So let me ask y'all, man. Who who is the 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 best rapper in the game right now? I'm not talking about who been hot. I none just, of that shit. I just, I'm just told, about, I just told you, it's Kendrick, Future, filling the fucking blank. <laughs> I feel like we finna see, man. If, so, if, so, if so, you don't so, know, so, we finna so see. you saying, so are you saying Future's better than J Cole and Drake, or you saying he can actually rap better than J Cole and Drake? No, I'm just trying to understand where you come from. I don't care which way. I, musically, that's your like, order. Like, musically, overall, overall, as overall, 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 and, you, overall, and, you, and honestly, 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 you, honestly, you could put honestly, shit, honestly yeah. to me, you could put Future first because I'm from Atlanta and I listen to Future more than I listen to fucking Kendrick. But the only reason right. why I'm putting Kendrick that high. Cause, Cause if Kendrick remind me of the old school hip hop, I'm going to niggas next. As soon, soon as yeah. I feel the nigga feel like he talking to me, I got to have your ass. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what I'm talking. None of that, man. We should be friends and all this yeah, other yeah, shit. Yeah. Like, like, man, niggas ain't never really like Drake like that. Just gonna keep not street niggas. No, 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 ain't, no, no. Nigga. Not I mean, street niggas. Now, now niggas who listen to music, like we can appreciate Drake music because Drake could give. A knife talk or some hard shit yeah. just to get you know do a whole mixtape with Future because he know that's the area yeah. of music he's lacking at the streets because he don't get no play in down south niggas car like that. I was I'm just, just I was just real. speaking from a lyrical standpoint, you know what I'm saying? Like on some on some Fuck real the hip hop, I, I've always hip -hop rapping type shit. I ain't talking about like the music. I'm just talking about just straight. Just see, straight rapping. See, see me who, the, who the best between J Cole, Drake, and Kendrick as far as just just lyrically inclined. Who, who the best out I mean, of them three? I, I, is what I'm asking. In, in my mind, okay, in my mind, I say this. Kendrick, to me, my opinion, okay. Kendrick killed Drake on Poetic Justice. Oh, yeah, yeah. But guess what? What? Cole killed Drake on In the Morning to me. Mm. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But that's early of all of them. That's yeah. it. That's all you got. You go get any of these niggas' bodies of work. Whichever one, mm -hmm. nobody who listen to music can sit up here and tell me it's not it that don't, that Drake and J Cole out rap Kendrick Lamar. Nah, no, who the fuck? I ain't think? saying that yet. No, I'm saying that's actually your okay, question. Okay. Who the hell think they can out rap nah. Kendrick Lamar? Like literally, like just lyrically out rap him. Like, nah, Kendrick nah, Lamar nah, at nah, least nah. like we just speaking on lyrics. Yeah. Him and Wayne just like this. Him Facts, and Jay Z yeah. just like this. Him Facts. and Eminem just like this. Facts, it's yeah. only it's just it's just depend on your preference of who you like better. Yeah, if true, you say true. I like Lil Wayne better than Kendrick, I ain't gonna sit and argue with you about that. Cause that's yeah, fucking fair. Wayne. Yeah, Jay Z or, or Eminem. But lyrically speaking, they can't out rap Kendrick more. Not not Drake or J Cole. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But I'm talking about musically. Cause I'm gonna be honest with you, lyrics only matter to niggas who can rap good. Right. Yeah. Lyrics only matter to niggas who can rap good. These kids don't give a fuck about that shit. Yeah. So well, I'm talking about just That's musically. True. It's Future, Kendrick, or Kendrick, Future, and fill in the fucking blank. Shout out Charlemagne. Just God keep it in real, bro. bro. Yeah, but, but now, now yeah. I don't want y'all to think we having a Drake bash party too. Now you know I okay. fuck with Sound Drew yeah. Rose. I fuck with. I, I I actually fuck with Drake's music. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I like yeah. the certified but, love boy. I, okay. But okay. yeah, I am a Plutonian. Mm, facts. Me too. I am a. You know, the wizard. Yes. And you go at, at me my side. I'm team 
future. Team Metro. But see, but see, my thing with that is, yes, I agree. I'm a, um, like, and and I fuck with Drake music, but we can't act like Drake ain't because we ain't gonna be interview Drake. So I'm gonna call it what it is. Right. We can't act like Drake ain't never been doing little bitch ass shit since he's yeah. been fucking rapping. True. Then I didn't know that the initial like just get to the beef. Yeah, like get like, to the beef. I get to the beef. I didn't know yeah. that him just naming the album her loss was whatever allegedly they say it's about an Instagram model. Mm-hmm. Okay. So between who? Future and Drake. No, nah, wait. Now nah, allegedly Drake fucked Metro Boomer Girl. Now nah. that's what it is. That's the one strike. That's okay. what I heard. You know what okay. I'm saying? That's that's the one. That's that's why him and Metro fell out or whatever the fuck situation is. Supposedly, I don't okay. know. And then I heard. And then I heard. You know, him and Future were fucking the same girl, and he started pillow talk. Drake. Drake, yeah. Little bitch ass nigga so shit. So once again, all this shit is over a bitch. No, no, hold on now. Hold on, no, hold on. Just, it gets get deeper. Hold on, that. but then, but that's why the album was supposed, supposed to call her loss because he didn't get to fuck her. Mm-hmm. So that's how it got back to future. Right. Oh. Now, also with her loss, allegedly that's supposed to be what a time to be what alive. What a time to be alive. Two. Mm-hmm. He had with, been entered, like you said earlier, he had he, been entertaining future that. We finna drop this. Well, but he ended up dropping the one with 21 Savage without letting Future know he was finna drop an album with 21 Savage. So Future been, felt the way. Yeah, because Future had been promoting right. what a what time, time to be alive, alive too. Right. And yeah. thing about though, everybody keeps talking about J. Cole was the innocent bystander. 21 Savage is the innocent bystander. Yeah, he stuck stop stop yeah. saying Cole, because Cole yeah. Slick been ready to show how competitive he is. He been yeah. saying a long time how... Uh, like about the big three, and because yeah. I know in one verse he was like, "Shit, I'm just happy to be on in third place or something like like you know yeah. what I'm saying like yeah. so." Because I'm glad you mentioned it because I was just about to ask. I'm like, "What, what, y'all, what y'all think 21 gonna do?" Because you know he, he stuck between the hard rock and the place. Yeah, he's like, stuck I mean, I mean, you know him him and Metro like this, but I mean, you know him and Drake don't develop a, a great friendship over the past years too. So it's kind of like you think he gonna choose a side. Man, even have everybody to. from Atlanta go better choose future side. Rick Ross and follow Drake. Yep. The weekend don't fuck with him. Uh, what the nigga name? Nav. Nav unfollowed Drake. But then uh, ain't no Metro uh, Scooter production. Scooter unfollowed Drake. Ain't no Metro production on American Dream, is it? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. We need to we need to check into that. We need to check into that. I'm I'm gonna look on that real quick. I don't know, but. You see a lot of people picking future them side now. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They can act like it nothing going on. Something going on now. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I don't know, I, but I think the album dope. Like I said, you got to let future music, you know what I'm saying, live a little bit, you know what I'm saying, with you. Because, man, that, like I said, that now with the one verse shit, now that song is going to debut number one this week. Yeah, mm-hmm. It's going to be the number one song in the country. They go, I think they're going to beat Carnival by Kanye West this week for the number one song in the country. That's gonna be dope, but what's the next single? Huh. You heard another one on you? Th- you you got another one on there? Ain't Cinderella. No, ain't no love. Cinderella. Oh, Young Metro. They just shot the video for that. Oh yeah, they just shoot. And then they Metro. Yeah. They slip push like this. No, no type shit. I mean, type not, shit. Yeah, type yeah. shit. Type shit. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. But it dope, man. I I ain't really mad at. It. I'm trying to find to see if he got any. But that's why I don't. I was just a kid. Like, is he, is he, is he on American Dream? E production by Metro Boomer. Yeah, yeah, he on there. And then, ain't this the first Metro Boomer album without a Twenty One Fat Savage feature? Yeah, this yeah, this is twenty first yeah. So that's kinda Twenty One picking this, but Twenty One hasn't posted the album. Right. So like it's like dang like he that's a boy. saying nothing is saying a lot too yeah yeah I mean either I mean he can't go I don't think he can go wrong either way though she I hope one on don't take a shot back at uh at Kendrick so we can go get an album sooner than five years you know one thing I noticed about Drake out of every out of everybody out of all the rappers he don't got into the only person he came back with with some shit was Meek Mill. That's he, ain't, he ain't come back to push the T after push the T got them. This is that he ain't nah, saying that. He did. He did. He did. Push the T. He did. 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 He did
They just didn't do shit. Well, he made one. They just didn't, I mean, uh, what the shit called? Oh, uh, fuck. See, he didn't make it to me. Damn, I can't think. You didn't <laughs> add me. Damn. I can't think of right now. I, know, I heard putting them, them push a T went in on Drake. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, killed him. He always sent a subliminal back to most niggas that he that he got issues with. You know what I'm saying? I just want to see how really how him and J. Cole gonna respond because I mean Kendrick didn't hold back. I mean it was obvious who he was talking about. Yeah, I mean, I mean he I, I made think, it clear like he said when he said big three, no niggas, big me. Like that was obvious right there. So it's yeah. like as a MC of the of the game, how are you going to respond? Hey man, are we gonna, are we I'm gonna, ready. I'm are we ready. gonna do some load management? Or are we gonna get out there no. and battle? Are we gonna get out there and battle? You think they gonna battle? They need to for hip hop. My thing about it though, y'all, Kendrick been wanting this shit for a long time, bro. Yeah, you need yeah, to ask. You, you need to. You, you need to go ask Drake that. Yeah, Drake, Drake <laughs> don't, Kendrick want don't them, give a fuck. You, don't you, got, you remember when y'all remember when he did the BET award? Yeah, yeah he did, yeah, the, did the freestyle. Yeah, freestyle, 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 freestle, man, he been he been ready. Put the put the what do you say? Put the sensitive ass rappers back in the pajama clothes. All that shit. Kendrick ain't been high five. He said, "Hold up, wait a minute. Your career ain't shit. Listen, got some Kendrick in it. Like nigga, he was going at all them niggas. Like control verse, like you brought up earlier. Like Kendrick, I don't want to be none of y'all niggas friends. Like." Yeah, that shit make complete sense. Yeah. Uh, Future just fell out with Drake. Retro, don't fuck with Drake. Let's go get Kendrick, or he don't fuck with them niggas either. Yeah. yeah. Makes complete fucking sense. I, mean, I can see Future pick calling this nigga. But you know you don't fuck with them folk, boy. <laughs> <laughs> shit, well, I got a long jump with that motherfucker. I don't fuck with them folks either, boy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, shit, how that shit go. And I think Kendrick been on yeah. that. Like, man, shit. My thing, the reason why I say I hope one of them niggas do respond, and if it's dope, I'm going to say it's dope. Because we need an album before five years. Kendrick only rap when he, like he said on the last album, it took him five years to, rap, to write it. Because he only rap when he got motivation. He didn't have no motivation. Yeah. He had to find some motivation with the world. I want them niggas to say something back so he have a whole album full of nothing but fucking heat. Number, mm -hmm. number heat. heat. Number heat, yeah. man. So uh, let's hope, let's see what happens with that, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's 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 move on, man. Oh, uh, man. So we're going to start saying no diddy? <laughs> I ain't going to count. I've been saying it all weekend. <laughs> I sent no you that share tonight. Hey, yeah, boy. yeah, no diddy, man. My boy said, <laughs> I seen the video. My boy said, you know, niggas like me, like bosses. You know, I put my niggas up in position. No diddy. <laughs> I said, hey, well, soon I saw that shit, I said, oh, I got to send it to this show. Hey, boy, y'all know, hey. know 50 eating that shit up, boy. Ooh. 50 Cent going crazy right now, uh, boy. For those who don't know, man, the, 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 I'm guessing, what is it, Homeland Security Feds, whatever it was, just uh, raided Diddy's home. Mm -hmm. Both of them, one in bam, Miami. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, man. Breaking news. One in Miami, one in LA. Okay. They arrested both sons. Okay. Uh, was it Christian? I think. Okay. Yeah. And sure. just, just, yeah, and just, and uh, King Kong. Yeah. Okay. Um, for they, they I'm thinking, but what the headlines say, sex trafficking. And oh. I got the screenshot of it directly from Apple, boy. Did his Miami, Los Angeles homes raided by Homeland Security. The hip hop moguls reportedly under investigation for sex trafficking. So this is an accredited source. It appears the federal agents have descended upon did his home in Los Angeles. TMZ reports the hip hop moguls' home. Um, in Los Angeles was raided on Monday as a part of a sex trafficking investigation. Sources told the outlet that local law enforcement is involved with Homeland Security in the lead. It's unclear if Diddy was present. Photo captured below by Fox 11's news segment. Yeah. They ain't walk no hoes out there, did No, 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 no. So what they, they, do you know what they found? I don't know. They, they ain't post, they ain't said nothing yet. That boy can't catch a break right now. Where he at? God, damn. I, from what I seen, they say he was on a plane somewhere or something like that. Uh, from what I seen, they made him turn that, I mean, uh, land the plane from what I heard. But I don't know if that was true or not. You know how these niggas on YouTube making these videos and shit. But hey, sex man. trafficking. Now, let's look at this now. You know, they changed the laws of sex trafficking to kind of give men, you know, no wiggle room and more time for bullshit. Mm -hmm. Sex trafficking now could be, cup, you got a girl, and you tell her, hey, go to the hotel across town. You know, my homeboy want to fuck you. You know what I'm saying? He going to shoot you $300. That's sex trafficking. Now you got 15 years for that. You see what I'm saying? Mm. That's the law for it now. Or let's just say you talk to a chick. She stay in Florida. You tell her to fly to New York to come see you. 
You know what I'm saying? Right. So when she come see you, you give her some goddamn money for come seeing you, and she say she didn't want to do it or something, that's sex trafficking because she crossed um, state lines to come see you and was compensated. Mm-hmm. Sex trafficking. It's some bullshit. It, what the fuck? So yeah. she didn't want to do it, but no, she, she can say money. she didn't want to do it. Oh, you see what okay, I'm saying? okay. It's okay. some bullshit, mm-hmm. but now they do that to basically, you know what I'm saying, give men more time for 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 make for, a straight cut. You, yeah. you did. You, you sell it. Yeah. Person. So it's some bullshit at, at the end of the day. But you know what y'all think about the Diddy situation, man? Hey, man, did about to go on a lawyer up. Yeah, at time, it it, 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 but now nah, this time he need to get, fuck all them little little videos he be making in his room, trying to act like everything. Hey, did it? Yeah, it's time to get serious. Up with these women, man. Nah, it time fuck them women. It's time to get serious, man. Yeah, it's the feds. They yeah. ain't just you said homeland security. Like he got some goddamn contrabands in that motherfucker. Yeah. And white one hundred posted said, "But I hope you got rid of them video." Now why white dry snitching? Shit, like, I'm trying to help somebody. Shit, saying so. Shit, man, wet guy, hey, man, wet, wet, man. light gotta be paid too, G, man. We got, uh, we got these niggas don't be in folks shit. They're they their job. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Te- technically, we in folks shit. Yeah, yeah, but nah, <laughs> you know what? Oh, oh, no, 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 like, 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 yeah, like, he, like he done seen nigga, the video. Like, he everybody Ace Boone Coon or some shit. Like, oh, yeah, you know, you know, sources told me. I, I, I went straight to the source. Whack, swear he the source. Shit. But I mean, hey, um, but Whack ain't lying now. He better hope he got a guy, he got, got them video gone. But I ain't gonna lie, but it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't looking good. It for ain't looking well, good. Especially from the, from the Cassie shit. Now, now this. Hey, boy, they on his ass like OJ. Yeah, it ain't, it this, ain't they, looking they, they too good. They treat me like OJ right now, man. Yeah, um, shit. If he got enough money, man, he he probably can beat it. You know what I'm saying? Depending on what they find at the houses, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, how, I mean, if this, it, well, then again, would they would they spend all that money to go raid them houses? If they ain't have nothing. They got mm-hmm. a case. Right? Fifty fifty yeah. cents posted and said, but they they they, they only do that when they got a case. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm right. thinking of too. Might be case ready. But they got a lot of money. He, he ain't like he ain't like got them murder ink them and shit gonna go broke on a on a on a on a fucking case. Right. He gonna be able to run through this shit because because the thing is they can't seize his money because it's legal. You see what I'm saying? Right. He gonna he gonna be able to fight this shit no problem. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You need to realize it's a billion dollar nigga. Fact. Shit, and that they can't say his money came from no bullshit. You know what I mean? That's how they did murder ink so fuck look because they said they money came from money laundering and fucking with preem them and mm-hmm. shit like that the money team and all them the real money team back in right. the day mm-hmm. so they end up taking their money so they couldn't fight the cave did it you can't do that too you know where your money came from so it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see what happens right you know what i'm saying i'm just trying to figure out why they arrested the, the sons for them nigga bus was spanking ass up there too <laughs> It's called it's called a, it's called being in the wrong place at the wrong yeah, time. Yeah, if yeah. I'm riding with you and we get pulled over and you got some drugs on the seat, we both getting in, we both going in cuffs. That's why we not just one. Yeah, yeah. That's some, hey, that's some Nino Brown shit they got doing. Hey right man, shout out to Diddy man. We still oh, you got, you through, yeah, yeah, we still on revolt man. I guess. <laughs> Yeah, them folks ain't dropped a, a Carisha Please episode in goddamn six months, but we, well, since Revolt World, but swear to God. think about it. They haven't. They ain't dropped a Carisha Please episode, but I don't even know what we doing. We just here. It's crazy that you said that because I was looking at, I was on Instagram today, and uh, somebody said, where is Carisha? And she, and she uh, tweeted back with some crazy shit. Like, she said, like, I'm here working. She said something like, I'm here. What, what y'all? What's, she said, what's up? On some what's up type shit. And then you start hearing all the little... Diddy tabloids under and stuff like that. So it's funny that he just said that because I'm literally on, on social media right now. I don't forgot what page is on, but they said, where is Carisha? And she said, I'm here. What's up? Yeah, yeah man. This shit yeah. crazy, man. Um, shout out to Diddy, man. I mean, I guess shout out to No Diddy. Diddy, hold your head. Wait, wait. My, no, my, my, Diddy. My, no Diddy. No Diddy. <laughs> no Diddy. We're going to start saying No Diddy, man. Um, shit. Um, I got, I guess. Uh, go ahead, G. Go I'm ahead. Saying, man, I'm going to ask y'all a question, man. They're going to tap into the relationship shit real quick, man. 
What's a lie you often tell your significant other? I don't know, though. <laughs> Look, I'll be home in 15 minutes. Oh, yeah, yeah. But it's, it's a little white lie. I be getting, you know, shit. You know this man? Hell yeah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you go on the page and see we've been friends since 2008. Oh, shit. Well, that, that's the name of your next rap album, boy. I don't know her. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. That's nah, it, bro. That's it, bro. That's, that's it, bro. I don't that's know That's the bad one, though. I don't, I don't know her. her. Boy, that's an album, boy. <laughs> Yeah, but why future name and album that shit? Oh no, don't get this shit away. We need to get copyright for this boy, shit, bro. That's, that's an album, now, bro. Only, oh, only patent that shit real quick, so for somebody steal it now. I'm just saying that's an album. And y'all heard it first here on Bad Speaker, so I came up with it. But I don't that's know her, album. so if y'all hear this shit, y'all know where it came from. I don't need to name the album, but I don't know her, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know her, bro. It fit perfectly what's fit, going bro. on right that now. That shit all fit. These, like, Short sentences album. You know what I'm saying? I do not know. I don't know her. You oh, know. I don't know. Her. Yeah, man. Uh, I don't. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I don't really lie. I don't, I really don't lie about now. Like not trying to be a yeah. downer. I just don't, I'm not no more. Like back in the day, boy, I used to lie about every goddamn thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I lie to y'all if I lie to one of these girls. All right. But I ain't, I don't really don't lie. I don't really don't lie. To what, well, what, what, you, what you use? What's you? What's a? What's a, a significant? Like, what's a lie you used to often tell? When you was lying, just give just give us one. Shit, I'll be right back. <laughs> That's a good one too, yo. Yeah, but I ain't gonna lie, man. Like that, I ain't gonna lie. Like niggas, I'll be right back. Then That's it, man. Like, I don't, Damn, you know, man. Honestly, bro, like, well, I, I don't. You I, just don't lie to women at all. Nah, cause I told you, man. If she like you enough, but she would lie to herself, man. Yeah, I'm she tell you, man. Yeah. If she like you enough, she and I ain't trying to be. You know, just against the grain. I just, I really don't lie, like not to no girl no more. For what? Shit, we, shit. I, ain't, hey, I, just, I ain't, you know. If I, it ain't the law, what can they really do to you? Yeah, like, yeah, I, I mean, ain't about the law. It just, <laughs> it just, it just, it just it, it ain't about the law. And that just, shit, if you move in the right way, ain't nothing for you to lie about. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you move in the right way, ain't nothing for you to lie about. Like, like if you lie, then, or whatever, then you, you really, you ain't moving right anyway. Bro, how can you, like, my thing is, like, if, if we look at really how shit's supposed to be, mm -hmm. you, you cannot be upset with no girl, or not even upset, you cannot really, truly, you have to understand a female when she upset with you and you lying so much. That just, that, that just the truth. Like, you how know, can you? You know niggas slip up every now and then, though. What you mean? Nigga, niggas just slip up. Nigga, niggas trip over his shoestrings. Cause sometimes it's like- What you mean by slip up though? Like, 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 like we, we, we be so engulfed with trying to, trying to prove to the woman that we're, we're faithful and we're with them. And it's just like, I ain't gonna lie bro, sometimes that shit be pressure bro. You ain't got trying to got that, keep a clean slate wait, wait, dealing Jay. with a woman. Wait, 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 Jay, you, you, you don't have to, wait a minute, that don't make sense. Cause you, you shouldn't have to prove to her that you being faithful. Either you being faithful or you ain't. But you trying to- in yeah, high, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, now if you if you saying that you know you out here fucking up and shit, then that's different. But if you you don't have to prove that you're being faithful if you're being faithful. If you know you out here fucking and then then now you got to hide this shit, then you just lying. Just be, then you you just lying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I ain't saying nothing wrong with that. If that's how you move. I ain't not no nigga out here that's just fucking off and shit like that. Cause shit, if you ain't really on that shit, then that's cool. I'm just saying me right now, like I'm not really lying to nobody. Hey, look, here. if I'm talking to a girl. And I know I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. Look, I'm gonna fuck other bitches. You ain't look. You, I'm giving you your chance to sit up here and make the choice for yourself. I don't want to take away your your. I don't not want to take away you the choice to make whether or not to deal with me or not. Because I'm gonna talk to other motherfuckers. Because I'm not ready for a relationship. One well, thing about Shaw, but he gonna make a motherfucker make a choice. Yeah. I mean Everybody I gotta make a choice. Everybody gotta make a choice. Yeah. Like like you got like, like people make choices based on you know what you tell them or what you show them too. Have you ever been, I, I mean. No, you're gonna do that, dude. Have, have y'all ever been offered a poly relationship? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. What'd you do with it? Poly? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. Can't do that, boy. What do you mean? Poly, like, more than, like, me and two girls, right? Yeah. Nah. I mean, because it cost. And shit like that get messy, too. Oh, yeah, it cost. 
No, depending nah, on who working. Nah, yeah, no, yeah, if two girls with you, they only doing that because you got some money. Exactly. Ain't no three incomes. Why ain't gonna be, bro? There ain't no like. Ain't why no they gonna deal, bro? You gotta be, bro. You got what, what kind of shit you telling the bitch for them to deal with your broke ass? <laughs> Not necessarily us or me. Two or you. women that's working. I'm just bro, saying, that's hard, bro. Like that ain't nah. That's bro. hard, bro. Two women that's working. They'll deal with each other before they deal with before they deal with us. Two women that's working. And you think they gonna share a nigga? Yeah, yeah, they will. No, shit. Not two women that's working. I believe. I believe a population could work if the nigga got the check. Yeah, yeah and then he just, they just. I don't think it's gonna work. I don't think like. it's gonna work. I think it can happen yeah. if, if the nigga got the check. Would these women feel like we willing to deal with this one man because he can take care of both of us? And I ain't talking about no teenage shit, motherfuckers yeah. in high school or. Motherfuckers working adults. at a restaurant. I'm talking about straight up adult shit. Yeah. Where, where motherfuckers 25 or older that understand life and can make a decision. Right. That shit ain't happening, bro. Unless that nigga got the shit. Fredo Bain doing it right now. Fact. And them motherfuckers don't yeah. even look that good. Matter of fact, he, had, he, he, got, he got two girls having babies for yeah. him, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Finette two time doing it right now. He got some yeah. healthy mother. He got some hungry hippos over there. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah, they down, though. They down. Yeah, well, I'm saying he was doing it. Yeah. But they ain't, these, these niggas with money. You see what I'm saying? They right. ain't got the, don't, don't, let, me get, let me take it back. Those are beautiful women, but I'm just saying, they'll make no Instagram models and that. You see what I'm saying? So, so what I'm saying, regular niggas, that shit don't too much happen, bro. I can't even name a nigga in a poly relationship right now. Not on our level. No, Hell no. I, 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 I can name a nigga. I know niggas gonna have plenty five. of three, yeah, try. I, I can name niggas who have plenty of threesomes no, and I, shit I, like that. Like, that ain't poly. That ain't, yeah. No, no, you, you just, just fucking two bitches. Uh, I'm talking about, like, Motherfuckers just dealing with each other, he yeah. He told me, he was like, y'all yeah, awful, she told me, hell no. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying, but. Y'all done seen niggas try it. You know what I'm saying, but like actually working or, you know what I'm saying, like, nah. You think nah. she could have said, nah, because he ain't got that paper. He ain't got the paper, bro. Yeah. You got to be able to make them, them women feel like they need just and you. Taken care of. Yeah, like they well taken care of, like just you at all. So, would I do it? So two, so two women ain't coming out of nowhere out to come see no niggas. Hell no. <laughs> no. <laughs> he said come out of nowhere. Man, them hoes putting out. on steel toes every day with them hoes tying these shoes. But they be like, boy, I don't know why I'm doing this shit, bro. <laughs> Come yeah, on, man. Too long no but I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you something. You work in that warehouse, boy. I ain't worked in the warehouse in a minute. But I'm gonna tell you something. You work in that warehouse, man. When you put them steel toes on in the morning, that shit that will make you reevaluate life, boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one time in the day you be like, boy, this, boy, this shit, him, boy. And hey, you better not take them off. You better not take them off, man. Done. I'm telling you, but them steel toes. Well, don't tell me one time, cup, boy. That nigga table was that down in that goddamn aluminum plant in the summertime, boy. Who's in high school? Shit. You came about that motherfucker? That was it for me, man. I was done. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, man. Some of the lines will fuck you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll fuck you up. Give you a whole new walk. I'm trying to tell you, man. But now, the only time you can get access to two women is if you're doing stuff for both of them. Yeah, but well, you can handle it. That shit costs, Yeah, man. yeah, bro. And, and right now, you go take two women out. I'm like, hey, man, I, I, I pay for your friend, too. Oh, shit, come. Because you paying for her meal. But not just on some, oh, I just want to chill with you and cook. Hell no. Nah. Unless she either... Like you or your bitch. And niggas take a hint sometimes too, man. When you with your girl or you talking to a girl and she asks you, can her friend come? Make sure you ask just her friend. She bringing in body, she say no. They trying to fuck you that night, boy. Ooh, really? Mm. Yeah, I ain't even think about night, it like that. Yeah. They and trying to they trying to fuck, man. Yeah. If, if you if you talk to a chick and she asks, hey, yeah. can, can my home girl come? She just wanna come, she ain't got nothing to do. It's just her, she don't want to bring she, she, No, nah, she's just coming by herself. It's just my homegirl. Boy, you better try to strike that night. Hey, yeah. boy, you know. Hey, you see what I'm saying? G. They, they, hey, probably, they probably strike each other. I know you don't know now, you know what I'm saying? You I, see what I'm saying? I, I would hell in my day, you know. I, I'm really still in my day, but I'm going to try to say it like it been right, a while right. ago, but, but hey, boy. But hey. you see what I'm saying, though? But like, I, took, I, I took two on to Jacksonville, boy. In, yeah. a, in, a, in a drop top Mustang, boy. Yeah. Hey, yeah. with it on me. <laughs> hey, hey. It cost it though, Hey, I was, I was all right. We know, see, we had the goddamn Laquanda lit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Goddamn, <laughs> but. You talk about that one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah you know. Head, right off the camera right now. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah saying, right. Right. Niggas be, niggas got to know them hints, boy. You got to know what them yeah. When they say some shit like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you go to brain like that. But even if they ain't even on their mind, make it be on your mind, man. Yeah. Buy them whole. Buy everything, make them, make, make them feel like you bit, dog. They only with you, two what? women with you that night. Oh, yeah. Take that hint, man. Yeah, well, nigga like me in the night, Jay, go too far. Well, I bought two hookahs, but y'all think I shut this shit, baby. Hell yeah. Shit, everybody blowing. 
Try to tell you. Try to tell you. Uh, what y'all think about this, man? Kobe Bryant's parents sell his championship rings. Reason being, from what I'm hearing, you know they couldn't afford to pay the mortgage on the house that, that they own. They, they basically is in a bad spot. And um, they had to do what they had to do. Kobe's lo- uh, wife or, uh, you know, widowed wife, uh, Vanessa, don't mess with that side of the family from what I'm hearing. I was just about to go no. there because I was about to say something so, something going on within the family because it's like, first of all, Vanessa can't be fucking with them. I'm just going to go ahead and say she can't be fucking with them because if she was, she wouldn't even allow them to sell this man championship ring. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, that's, that's like, that, like, like, like that's, some, that's some memorable shit. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the key. But it's like, damn, I, I mean, they must be really, they must really got some turmoil within yeah. their family. All of them. Not even just be like, like even pay whatever they need to be paying. Like, hey, listen, give me, give me, his, give me, give me my husband. You know what I'm saying? Ring. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of this for y'all. Yeah. But and so, but she just let them. I ain't gonna say she let them do it. It, it was in their possession, so they could do what they want to do. I'm just saying, it's just like, Shit, God damn. Yeah, boy, he got them lights and rent due or whatever the fuck they paying mortgage right. due. Shit, he ring gone. Right. Don't say, but all but, of but, but, all but, 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 here, but, here, but here's my thing. It's like I don't know they sold all of them. Just but, 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 the, but the deep underlying question is, um, why are you not? You know what I'm saying? Helping um, the, the grandparents of, of y'all kids. Well, they, well she this, did. Well, they, I'm, 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 not, I'm not saying she's that's that's her responsibility just because he's gone. But it just make you wonder what was going on when he was here. No, I was and gonna ask. You see that what I'm saying? Now. Like what, what was really going on when he was here? Because I don't heard a few stories, you know what I'm saying, with, with Vanessa and, and, and Kobe's side of the family. I mean, I don't know if you really know too much about that, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I mean, Co- Kobe Kobe the mama, Kobe the parents didn't like his wife anyway from the beginning when he was 17, 18 years old, okay. going to the NBA. That was the number one issue. They didn't like her. Kobe Bryant chose his side with his wife, which in most most kids gonna choose a day yeah. they they spouse. But, you know, that don't make it I mean, and Kobe did for his parents too also. Right. From what I heard, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Now, what that gonna leave the wife at? If if you if your girlfriend don't like your parents, if your if you if your parents don't like your girlfriend, right. then you tell your girlfriend, right? Mm-hmm. Your girlfriend is gonna forever damn near Either try to get along with your parents, or she ain't gonna never like your parents. Right. Yeah, it's gonna be one or two. It's gonna be one yeah. of the two. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, but guess what? The boy gonna do. He right. gonna choose that woman, cause that's who he lay down with. But you just even though they didn't want him marry her when he came out of high school with her kid, you would think over a period of time, it's like okay, goddamn, they've been together for 15, 20 years now. Like, yeah, like goddamn, the shit, the shit actually. The parents let out. it. The parents let it go, but Vanessa didn't. From what uh, I, from y'all, what I, y'all ain't been saying, fucking okay, with me. Cause y'all ain't, they ain't been fucking with her. So, right. so that's the issue. The thing is, man, ninety percent of the time, bro, yo kid, bro. If one thing y'all gotta know, mm-hmm. you got daughters, you got daughters. Yeah, I got a son. Yo, yo kids is gonna choose whoever the fuck they choose to marry or be with over you every time. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah, every time. I don't give a fuck who it is. I don't give a damn how much they call you daddy, how much they say they mm-hmm. love you. Because guess what, we did too. We just did. So, yeah, all, so, so for all you kids, they could be my mama's yeah. birthday. Yeah. Shit, mama, here you go. She hope you enjoy that. I'm gonna go over here and fuck this bitch. No, <laughs> son. Man, come on. You out of there? You out of there too? Nah, I'm. I'm. I'm a goddamn. You out of there, cup? I'm a parlay. If I got you, got a parlay. You gotta get a plate. Yeah, yeah you go. You go. You gonna make it make sense now. Yeah. Shit, but I gotta slide, mom, dude. You, you go. You gotta slide, you. boy. But Thanksgiving get real skimp, boy, when you start spending time with your significant other them family or her, or with they, you know what I'm saying? Or oh, yeah. with your girl them significant, right. you know what I'm saying? Bro, you gonna choose the other side. Now you're not gonna the thing that we do as men, we don't, we don't make the choice. Like we don't we 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 break it up. If, if your girl don't like your mama them, you, what she gonna do is you gonna try to keep the peace. Just keep them apart. Mama, you wrong or baby, you wrong or keep them separate, you know what I'm saying? That's how you do it. No, I, I agree with you because that that look that just brings back to that um to that baby boy shit. Hey, mama got to have a life too. Remember, Jody was trying to stick around, but in the, the day, hey, a person will always choose they lover. Your mama gonna choose your, your you know mama gonna saying? choose her yeah. man. Yeah, exactly. Your mama, your mama, when, when she's supposed bro, to, because at the end of the day, 
she can't. You can't be with your mama for the rest of your day. Only time, and if you is, you a weirdo. Only time your mama yeah. gonna choose you, bro, when you a baby or a child, or you can't Facts. do for yourself. And guess yep. what? She should. She shouldn't have to choose you around that time anyway, because you a child. Your daddy ain't got no rift against you, or yeah. her yeah. boyfriend ain't got no rift against you, because y'all some kids. Yeah. But eventually, when you get grown and you can handle your shit by yourself, and she see you as a grown man, she gonna choose her boyfriend, bro. I hate yep. when niggas. I be seeing niggas like. Like we we had a nigga growing up mad at her, his mama for choosing her boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Duh, I had to tell this nigga before. Like duh, nigga, like like the fuck you think she spoke? Nigga, you a grown ass man. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. She gonna That's choose fashion. him. She's right. supposed to. The Bible yeah. say nobody come before nobody become before the man. Right. Or the husband or the wife. nobody mm -hmm. man man honor thy man. A woman a woman should honor. I mean honor thy husband. Right. It go. What the Bible say? God. Uh, uh, husband, kids, and I mean, God, wife, husband, then kids. Right. You know what I mean? So, yeah, if COVID them situation was like that, back to the to the thing, yeah. COVID them situation, he's he, he supposed to choose Vanessa. Now, Vanessa shouldn't have held on to that grudge. Right. Because them his parents. Mm -hmm. Like, Kobe Bryant worked over a billion fucking dollars, uh, his, his estate is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He can give so yeah. basically, So, basically, you think she, she should give them something? Damn yeah. right. His dad, his daddy played, bro. bro. She ain't shot nine ball, bro. But but then my exactly. thing though. So Kobe didn't leave them nothing though, or everything went. But well, you know what I think when 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 the hook. I mean, cut y'all. You gotta understand that they're they're married. So when when one spouse dies, she get all the inheritance goes to, to the, the other to spouse. The, the like wife. if I die, everything I got more than likely gonna go to my kids and the mother of my kids. Really, my kids. Yeah, yeah. But 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 this is what you gotta understand. If I die now by them being kids, guess who gets to be in control yeah, she of get that to govern over. coming from me? The mother. Right. Until they get to a certain age, whatever I put in my will or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Until they get to a certain age where they get certain asset, yeah. access to shit. You know so what then what? what? She holding that grudge. Yeah. Mama the man get mom him, him mama the man getting that. I don't think it's right. Uh, now I, I don't think it's right what she's doing. I'll say that. I'll I don't it. give a damn. I'll have sold that shit. Yeah, too. I, don't, I don't give a damn. Yeah, and guess what? <laughs> and if she mad about it, it ain't nothing for her to be mad what about because you ain't helping. So it's like, goddamn, we got to survive some type of way. My son provided this type of lifestyle for us. He picked that damn ball up and he also did it for your ass too because you was just a what? A video vixen? Somebody like that. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. No, Vanessa won that. Was she? Yeah, yeah, she won. They, I mean, they, they made that. on the video he set. He met on the video set. He made on the video set and said, hey, this, yeah. this, she going to be mine. On some, on some goddamn. And what, that's why he got that mama in life. Now what I would have did, I would have called Vanessa like, "Hey, shit, how much you got on these rings?" Yeah. She, you come get. If not, we finna, we finna let these bitches fly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we all got that. And you I, made and a I'm pretty, listen, I'm pretty Kobe sure they, Bryant championship ring. And I'm pretty sure they got a pretty good penny for it because he, because yeah. he's died now. You know, rest in peace. I'm just saying, when you did, you just worth more. I, but that that made sense. Now, that's why they didn't like her. Yeah. Where she, is it? She was a video bitch. His dad them knew, like, boy, why you want to? You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, hell yeah. Like, boy, what you, what you doing, boy? You yeah. know what I mean? That makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, it makes more. They just saw her and yeah. just said, no, no, I won't like but, her. But it had a no, reason. No, no, luckily, Kobe got lucky. He didn't end up being with no woman that trying to get her for something. Because you got to remember, his dad had played professional basketball, too, so he understand how, go. how shit go in professional sports and how women come into it. So you probably just trying to school them on that. But like I say, Kobe got lucky and uh, found one, you know what I'm saying, that was faithful to him as far as I know. Yeah. The whole time, I ain't never heard about Vanessa doing nothing wrong here. Yeah. 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 But you got to, like, as a parent, you got to you gotta let your kids bump their own head. Yeah. You can tell them whatever you want, bro. Yeah. So they're not going to really get it until they bump their own head. Yeah, but you can want better for them. You can. You can. You just got to know how to go about doing it with that. But, yeah. hey, I, ain't, I told you I would have sold them. You was, I mean, now here in the store, I would have sold them motherfucker too, man, though. I got them. I'm looking at these bills come in. Shit, that, I, I, I ain't done it. And then we got some championship ring just sitting on the goddamn counter over there. Man, I'm selling high school trophies and everything. everything. Well, I got yeah. Kobe Bryant. I got that whole room in here. Jersey, all this shit. Goddamn. New man, shit gone, man. Stuff, yeah. <laughs> shit gone. Let Vanessa know, hey. Shit, you want this shit, you come pick it up, but we need a pretty penny for then now. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> trying to, you ain't getting about this, huh? Uh, have y'all been watching March Madness, man? I have. I seen some of it. Uh -huh. Somebody playing. Yeah. All I got to say is the women's NCAA tournament is they lit. better than the men's right now. 
Not yeah. to say that it ain't no good men, best ain't no good men games not going on, but you know? I'm more in tune towards the women than the men this year. Yeah, yeah. I ain't, it was ain't like that last year. I, I, I ain't like, I'm nah, only, you right, you right, you right. Only yeah, watched you one mean. men game so far. That was Georgia and Wake Forest. Um, I watched them. Um, I think, I think, I, man, they're gonna have to do something with college, men's college basketball. It's over with. <laughs> he said it's over with. Man, yeah, man, like. You ain't lying though, because I ain't gonna lie, bro. If you ask me right now who I think going into the draft for the for men's oh, basketball, no, I, I, can't, only, I can't even give you five only, players right I now. I don't even mean like that. I'm, I mean? mean, like, you know, I didn't go nowhere the week. I ain't see y'all. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Pull yeah. up on, I stayed at the house and chill. Man, Yale beat Auburn. Mm-hmm. No, no, not uh, Yale beat Auburn. Oh yeah, Yale ain't won a fucking uh, uh, goddamn <laughs> a, a round in like thirteen years, man. Oakland beat motherfucking Kentucky, man. We, no, 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 let me finish. Let me finish. Hold on, Rich. Let me let me let me give y'all some. Let me give y'all what I mean. You cooking? Okay, okay. No, not Oakland. Y'all think of Oakland, California? You talking about Oakland State? No, I ain't talking about Oakland State. Damn, what are you talking about? Oakland, Detroit, Michigan beat. Motherfucker, oh, nigga, I didn't know it was an Oakland, Detroit, nigga. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? Who? Oakland, Kentucky, bro. John Collar, the number, the number one recruited basketball college basketball organization Kentucky. this year lost to. Look it up. I'm, I'm only lost enough. to Oakland, man. John Calipari, y'all better, go, y'all better go watch this shit. John Calipari should be, and they talking about it now. Should be fired. The number one, look up number one recruit, look up number one college basketball recruiting class this year and next year. They got the number one player coming in next year. Oakland had a fifth year senior on their team. Bro, look at that shit up. I'm looking at it now. This shit crazy. And Yale beat Auburn, man. Bro, men's college basketball is, is first of all, we only kept, and then not even just that, the women done quadruple. Their yeah. ratings, the ticket sales, the and ticket sales, and all that shit. So it's like, n- name somebody who's still playing in the tournament. I wait. And for boys, anybody. Uh, I, mean, I know you know girls. Gonzaga you know. still. No, we talking about men. I don't. I can't tell you. <coughs> I'm about to say, I can't tell you that. Yeah. So it's like, bro, I never seen no shit like that. No, what, 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 earlier when you talk when I mean try to cut you off, I was gonna ask you. I was like, do you think this has something to do with, um, you know, the, these. Now that college players getting paid certain money, athletes just going anywhere now. Ain't nobody just trying to get to no specific school no more. Now, it, don't, it don't have nothing to do with that. Not not in college basketball. Who who, who got a good who got this in our deal? It's just, it's the fact that over these years everybody's making a jump after one year. Yeah. You got you got a, oh, you got yeah. a, you got a, hold on you got in Oakland. Boy, that nigga just tapped me and said, boy, you ain't tell me Metro Real Future had dropped the classic, swear to God. <laughs> nigga said, I've been on this since Saturday, them boys. <laughs> like, boy, sign up a nigga Marquette, but then the boy oh, yeah. did their thing, boy, swear to God. Boy, you ain't tell me Metro Real Future. Man, you ain't tell me Metro Real Future dropped that classic, bro. That's a fact. Yo, yeah. man, well, uh, no, nah, man, but not, like, it, it, it has everything to do with players going one and done. Right. And John Calipari, he been doing that. Man, Oakland them had, like, 24-year-old niggas on 18, 25-year-old niggas on 18, man. Like, fifth-year singers and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think, the, and then, too, John Calipari just can't coach. He can't coach. You know his name. How many championships John Calipari got? All them niggas in the head. John Wall. All them motherfuckers. AD. Zion. Motherfuckers. All them. Well, not Zion. He, Zion. 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 Dude, he ain't won one, one, has he? Uh, he had. He, he won one. We won one. He won one. Yeah. one. Derrick Rose, yeah. motherfucking uh, who else? You know, we had a lot of undefeated teams. Cup and then when man, he, he got had to the all tip, them he niggas. Lost. He lost. He had all them niggas, man, yeah. and only won one champ. In game strategy, in, just in game coaching. He he's terrible. Yeah, I'm watching this show. Man. I know these niggas ain't from the little D niggas, bro. I didn't. I didn't even watch. I, I know I these niggas ain't from the little D niggas. Oakland, Michigan, nigga. <laughs> I ain't in nothing. You right now. I that ain't shit no crazy. Right now, on the flip, coach. on the flip side, girls is doing their thing, man. They balling, man. Bro. Caitlin Clark. We 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 can, man. We got, man. Now, y'all, do, do y'all think Caitlin Clark gonna is she gonna be the one who uplift the WNBA? She got a good chance. Kinda, they been struggling. She got a good chance. As far she as got like, a good you chance. know, what I'm saying. You, but you, but you gotta think like though. That. It ain't just gonna be her. She well, coming yeah. in with a whole squad. Angel Reese coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Caitlin Clark coming. 
Shit, what that girl Skeet put me on the other day? Oh, uh, fuck. She played for UConn, I think? Yeah, I can't remember my name, though. No. She got a hell of a job. We start drinking, I start forgetting shit. Though, yeah. But, like, like, it's a man, man, that bitch, uh, uh, Juju, what, 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 yeah, huh? But, uh, she, uh, she for USC. Oh, uh, Juju, Juju Wilkins. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I think, I think she like a freshman, yeah. though. South okay. Carolina, all them. Oh, all, all them. All them coming like, out. But I'm saying, but, man, I, man, we about got down, Caitlin Clark, daddy, tell her to shut up, man. All the rip, boy. And you know what she did? Shut up. Fall to pee. Triple double. Chicken. Dad. Shut up. Put play, it on the floor. Play ball. <laughs> Gave hey, man. Him, Stop playing with her, man. Like, yeah. like. She got a good chance. Yeah, she got a good time to turn up the WNBA. She, she, man, she stopped, hezzy, pulled two steps hey, back, man. pull up, bro. Like, In the COVID. Like the nigga. Mm. I'm saying what sells. Prime time gave everybody the recipe, bro. That that confidence and swagger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Man, look here, man. It's only certain players in the NBA that you like that don't say shit. Tim Duncan, the Joker. Yeah. Who else? Kawhi Even MB talk Lewis. shit. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. But I mean, but how many? You, I bet we'll see her name niggas all day that pop it out there. Now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying, sure. man? Yeah. Caitlin Clark be out there popping it, man. When she get, when she look at that hand, <laughs> it's over. She know. <laughs> yeah. But I just did a step back from the logo. My killing them too, bro. Man, she ain't playing with her, man. Yeah, she, she, she can, she can single handedly change w the way people look at the w to her set just how she played the game of basketball they need to change the rules man to make motherfuckers stay in college for two years i bet it'll get better i mean you gotta think now man with men though they don't even need college they going to the g uh the little g, g league, g -league get paid program getting yeah. paid for a year still being eligible to hit the draft they, i mean they really don't they got it where well, they come straight out of high school. You're right, because I don't even think Dwayne Wade signed with the college. I think he just went straight to the semi-pro and he's somewhere overseas playing. Yeah, and right. then you, you still be eligible. Yeah. Yeah. To go to the draft. You know what I'm saying? Like, what what what, what buddy was carrying all them? He was carrying more guns than John Morant. My uh -oh. old Mikey Wil Wilkin. Mikey Wilkin, yeah, he shot, <laughs> yeah. shot, yeah, 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 yeah. Where he at? Shit, I don't I'm know. Only, I don't know. I think he beat them charge on it. Yeah. And and we let oh I think he did. He did beat them charge. Let's talk about this too, man. Yeah. Ant Man. Being Don't go hey, to man, you. we gotta look, our like resident, door, our like resident door. Nick. Oh, oh well, we gotta do put some, we, <laughs> okay, we can't yeah. act like it wasn't us now. We okay. gotta we gotta gotta get the props to the person who said it first. Oh yeah. Skeet said Skeet it. Skeet said Y'all yeah, argue with him now. I, I even gave him a little pushback. We, we 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 argue with him. Yeah. He said it before anybody else said it now. He's showing it, man. He yeah, the, to me, he the best, off. at least the best two, at least the top three player in the NBA. That man going crazy. And Michael Jordan said, Chris Bouchard posted it on uh on uh first Sim thing first. Similarity. Yeah, yeah, said he see the similarity with him and Ant Man. He said he said he ain't mad at that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, y'all clock, man, stop playing, man. That dunk the other night, man, he almost hurt the hand and shit or whatever. Oh, yeah. John oh, yeah, yeah. Dunk of the fucking year. Facts. He he plays like MJ. He's a little shorter, six foot four, I think. Yeah. But he hopping like a motherfucker, Got man. Got a bag now. And he wants to play. Yeah. He ain't missed the game. He ain't missed the game. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Plays defense. Locked up. Paul George oh, the night yeah, picked yeah. his rock. Clamps on him, yeah. He want to play D. Like, like, shit, Ant-Man might be that next guy, man. Like, yeah. like, like, far as Skeet said it. I, Skeet, you ain't here. I got. I, 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 I text him up. That said, boy, you might be on some of that shit. Paul Pierce said it on that because you know he with Skip now. Yeah. Say, Ant Man, the next, that next nigga, man. So, and he wanted. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Told Draymond Green, but oh, boy, you ain't talking about shit. But you think that Wolf is gonna get somebody scared, boy? Went off on him. <laughs> some Draymond started talking. Shit, I'm just saying. He said, boy, Steph can't bail your ass out, boy. <laughs> hey man, he ain't say all that. Green, Swear to God, man. boy. Yes, Watch the replay. About that shit. I gotta go check that one. Hey man, man from Atlanta, man. Thorough High School, man. Hey, that man went to Georgia. Went to now. Georgia, man. Thorough, man. You hey, know man. what I'm saying? Uh, Where's his name? Tony Brothers, man. He kept that nigga in public and jump on him. <laughs> Tony Brothers. Hey yeah. man, Tony Brothers. I, I seen a nigga say, you know, that, that, that's just Tony. Yeah. Nah, I see Fuck right. Tony. Yeah, he gave a buck, ejected my buck crib Paul the night. I just, that's all I want, man. They ain't got to be, I know they ain't going to hold the referees accountable, but mm -hmm. in every league, I just feel like the ref need to do a, a post-game interview. Mm -hmm. yeah, we I, need, some of the shit y'all do, we just want to know. Yeah. We got some questions about it. We ain't got to, y'all ain't got to find them or nothing. We just want to know, man, how you going to give a nigga a tech? 
I don't play recreation basketball. Right. How are you gonna give a nigga a tech for not saying nothing? Yeah, that's crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Like he, he didn't. Normally, you get a tech for like excessive talking or right. disrespect. You know what is a tech? I, I don't even know what a tech is no more. I think they just throw texts now just because they get mad because somebody said some slick shit to them or some shit that they feel like they feel embarrassed about some shit. To be honest with you, because that that's unnecessary, bro. No, nah, that's unnecessary. These the referees, look, man, even the referees showing that they want attention. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We you know what I mean? Society we live in what the know? fuck is a referee doing doing the interview on TikTok? Um, Tony Brothers did it. That's why, that's why Chris Paul, Paul called, called him a TikTok. TikTok. He did yeah. an interview with a famous TikToker. Like, what the fuck is you doing doing an interview on TikTok? You a fucking referee, man. Now, they need to get on TNT out of the game and do a goddamn interview. Man, come on, Adam Silver. Yeah, that too. <laughs> that man followed, that man followed, what name, DeJounte Murray? Murray. Followed that nigga from half court doing a timeout to the bench, but it sat down and he kept following him. Right. Following him all the way off the court to the right. bench doing the timeout. Hit him and and was, try, was trying to still talk to him. And Murray grabbed his towel and did like this. That's crazy. And gave him a tip. The referee gonna make one of these niggas snap, goddamn, and choke one of these referees yeah, one day. That, shit, that, that wasn't crazy. gonna happen. But it just be, it could be like shit like that though. I look at like that's too much control of the game. Cause what it if is. what yeah. if what if it's goddamn two minutes left in the fourth and it's sixty nine to sixty nine or some shit? Yeah. And just because I won't speak back to you, like I, I think it's weird how they want the players to keep their emotions out the game. But if the, if, if the ref feel team. offended, yeah, they had their own emotions. Yeah. He can, I can just give the other team two points and the ball back. And, that, like, and that's dangerous too. That's dangerous, man. What the fuck? The referee can goddamn persuade a game too, goddamn on some, uh, on some betting type shit too. That's that what I'm saying. You know like, what I'm saying? Yeah. We already know the best shooter gonna shoot the free we're throw, gonna, gonna right. so win, most of right. them gonna be automatic. Y'all just slide me the chip. I, I make sure they won't win game three. Man, that nigga got down, walk <laughs> past me too fast. I'm gonna tee him up in this motherfucker. I got you. <laughs> Quick. I mean, by then, or oh, why can't all the refs come together when you? If you do this, mm -hmm. that ought to mean team up. Team up. <laughs> all of, what he do, boy? Yeah. Come up with it, yeah. No, no, it need to be a white hat on the court. No, no, we, oh, ain't, gonna, we ain't gonna goddamn. No, that ain't that. We gonna let that slide. Wave it off. Yeah. No, that ain't that. Yeah, that shit that crazy. I, I feel you though, man. Yeah, man. LeBron right. comments on his new podcast with JJ Reddit, man. Called Mind of the Game or Mind of the Game or Mind in the Game or some shit. Y'all could come up with a better name than that. Yeah, that's, but, that's uh, terrible. Yeah, that, that's that's yeah, yeah. It ain't even catchy. Yeah. Said in terrible too. Yeah. He said that. The most influential players of all time in his eyes is Steph Curry and Allen Iverson. Now, I want y'all to realize, now, LeBron called himself an historian of the game of basketball. Right. What y'all think? I totally agree with him. I actually watched that whole episode, bro. He not lying. I mean, he just... Well, y'all, you wildin' too. What you think? How the fuck he ain't gonna say Mike? That what I'm saying. The fuck are we talking? about? I mean, about? no, no. I mean, he, he I mean, he. he no, you, no, you, no, 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 no. Because I watched that whole episode. Now he said, "Well, we all know what Mike did for the game." But he, no, 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 no. He said the most influential players that he ever saw. He didn't put a year. Oh, that he ever saw. No, he saw Mike. Yeah, yeah. No, no. I'm going with you. I'm going with you. Yeah, but the, the, no, 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 no. I'm yeah. saying, well, just keep, keep that same in there. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm saying, don't spin it. Don't spin it. Don't spin it. You talk like you will because he said out his own mouth. Cause, Cause trust me, everybody done called him out. Chris Bouchard, right. St Steph, I mean, uh, St uh, Stephen A. Smith, right. uh, Kendrick Perkins, who was a LeBron fan. Everybody called him out. Uh, Dreamers Pro Show, shout out to them because I fought with his show. Called LeBron out and said, "How the hell are you gonna say that and not say Michael Jordan one of the most influential, the most influential player to come out the NBA? He did not. He threw his name up there saying, we all know what Mike did, but." Oh, okay. So, so nah, what you mean? I don't agree but, with him at all. See, you know what people don't understand when you say but. You you st you dissing? You are you are disregarding everything, everything you, you said, said before that. Like, yeah, G.I., you know what I'm saying? You cool people, but. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck you mean? 
You're not going to. Okay, so if he called himself a historian. But I mean, but I mean, other than my, yeah. Because that was, it, that's my point. I said yeah. it before I even started. I said, LeBron, but I'm glad you said that. Because okay. I said, LeBron James called himself a historian of basketball. So like, what the fuck? Is, he, he should have said Mike, Mike God mode then. God damn. Yeah. If, yeah. if he a historian, yeah. Mike God mode. Michael man. Jordan had a song called I Want to Be, I Want to Be Like Mike, man. Thanks. The that's nigga true. did a music video with Michael fucking Jackson. At one point, this man was voted the most, the most recognizable face on the planet of the earth over Michael Jackson at one point. Thanks. Yeah, That's He true. was voted that. How the fuck is... What, what you mean? So Steph Curry and Allen Ives are the most influential players ever coming in the NBA. They definitely, they definitely right behind Mike, though. As far as in, influence... That, that's, arguable. that's arguable. That's arguable. But how the I fuck think, Mike I, I, I definitely think list. those three are the most influential NBA players no, I that I've that. seen with my own two don't eyes. Put, don't even put them... Once again... It's, well, we know it's, Mike. It's Future, Kendrick, Mike. Kendrick, and fill in the blank. It's right, Michael Jordan right, and fill in the other two. Don't be trying to throw them in there, too. <laughs> trying to get them that cool yeah, old. Oh, no. They up there, too. You know, no, they're not. They're oh, two hey, and man. three or, or hey, two man. and two. Well, two A and two B or some shit like that. But no, nigga, like. Motherfucker still wearing Jordan. Nigga still wearing so, Jordan. How the hell nigga saying that shit with them shoes on their feet? Yeah. Yeah. Nigga, LeBron's in the store right now. I can get a pair of LeBron's right now, 185. You can walk in there right walk now. Walk in there right now. I, I dare you to go walk in there and get a pair of threes. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you can't go find a hey, pair of threes on left. Get some of them Mexican mics. Get some baby. Mexican mics. Get some legends or something. <laughs> so, do y'all, do y'all, do y'all, so, so, so basically, you saying you, you, you think LeBron was just basically just throwing shade as far as you know. Just no, he ain't throwing no, he ain't throw no shade. You get what he was doing? What? Hey, 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 what's that? Hey, man. Same, 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 same. Nah, throwing shade is light. Yeah, like, 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 yeah. Like, I really was just. No, he was hanging. He was He. That's why he got that podcast. Nigga, you watch. I didn't know. I didn't know he's actually on the podcast. Yeah, he's, got, yeah, he's on the podcast. That's so why he so got him on podcast. his other show. How the you? hell? No, hold on. Okay. No, okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Stand stand How the hell you gonna sit up there and say that? Not you, LeBron. Yeah. You gonna sit up here and say that? And you were number twenty three. Nigga, I can go deeper than that. Nigga, you were number twenty three. Your McDonald's basketball game jersey was number twenty three. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What? You were twenty three because you said you were because of Michael Jordan. Yeah. yeah. I you tried know. to declare for high school a year, de- declare out of high school a year early at 17 because you wanted to play with Mike, you know, he last year. Facts. Oh, yeah. You wanted to play yeah, against yeah. Mike, his last. LeBron came in, what, 03, 04? Whatever the fuck, 04? Whatever year it was. Mike left in 03. Yep. You want to know why? Because you said you tried to declare at 17 because you wanted to play against Mike. The same reason why Kobe Bryant left high school early. I mean, he left high school, I mean, didn't go to college. college I mean, yeah. he would have went to Duke. He didn't go to college so he could play against Mike and came out of high school because he wanted to make sure that he played against Mike he thought Mike was going to retire. You know what I'm saying? Same exact shit. Man, Mike, Michael Jordan is the most influent. Bro, stop. Nigga, everybody, man, nigga started wearing bag of shorts because of Mike. Facts. Mike, what? Damn. Globally, he changed the NBA, though. Globally, what? he changed it, too. Now, if you want to say, uh, uh, I mean, Allen Archer, I understand what he did. I always say Allen Archer, I, inf, inf, influence-wise, he's one of the most influential. But and Steph Curry influenced the game. Yeah, the game. I don't think yeah. culturally. I don't think niggas niggas want to play the game like Steph. They want to be Steph. Not culturally, but yeah, Al Iverson did it. Culturally. Niggas wanted to be Al Iverson made niggas wear tall tees. And look for y'all new millennial niggas watching. I know that shit ain't in right now. Niggas I'm said, not what is a tall tee? <laughs> you know <what> I'm <laughs> but but I'm saying he made yeah. niggas. You know, he I ain't wearing no guy. Well, I'm, I'm gonna put it in a more better term. I ain't, ain't wearing no suit to the motherfucking press conference. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When I was growing up, man. I wanted braids, bro. <laughs> Just cause That's what I'm saying. AI had he, the braids. He had braids. Now I say this: it was niggas in the league before AI with tattoos. Yeah. Dennis Rodman and shit like that. Yeah. But Allen Iverson made tattoos cool. Dennis Rodman had X, them yeah. goddamn them, them gay looking tattoos and shit. Yeah. You know, what scattered what I'm tattoos. Yeah, all that shit. Allen Iverson made tattoos cool. Uh, and I he think also was, made niggas what be sleeve. comfortable with, with wearing they you know wearing they hair how they want to wear it too. Now with niggas in the league with cornrows before AI. But what about like, the but sleeve? They, they ain't had them same type of cornrows. Yeah, yeah, but, but they had them Kawhi Leonard's goddamn. Yeah. Then, no, then, then AI, AI had to wear they made him wear that sleeve. Then yeah, because he had uh, he was promoting something of his own on his on his. You can't promote logos of other companies on your on, on your arm if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they made him cover it up, but he made it cool to wear. So not everybody in the league wore, wore a sleeve because of AI. Yeah. Now it was niggas in the league that had cornrows on that shit. I can't, I can't, I can't. Spreewell had cornrows, look just like AI. I ain't want to be. Spreewell. But we didn't want to be Spreewell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to be now. Yeah. yeah. So I'm not trying to push it, but it was niggas who was doing it. Like yeah. AI made the shit cool, bro. Damn, LeBron. I'm telling LeBron. LeBron, that, that, LeBron ain't hang, man. LeBron, I don't, I don't know. You, you getting that that podcast was the best move for you. 
<laughs> you mm. you might have, you know what I'm saying? And it was like JJ Reddick too. Like I mean, I, I mean, it players you got a podcast that's gonna talk about the sports they're currently playing. Unbiased. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like the fact that you say you're a his, historian. Like, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I would have thought Paul Pierce said some shit like that. I'm a historian of the game. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. because he's retired, he's a proven player. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you yeah. nigga, you still playing. And we, and we yeah. can't a true facts. And we can't act like LeBron ain't the room here, LeBron ain't paying these folks to goddamn say that he the GOAT too now. Like that's a big thing going on now. Yeah. A lot of people being called out for the fact that LeBron and his production company, you know what I'm saying? I forgot, uh, uh, what is it, Spring Hill Entertainment? Mm -hmm. And it's paying, they say, paying Gilbert Arenas, paying Shannon Sharp, because somebody pulled up some tweets by Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp saying Michael Jordan was the greatest player of all time. All of a sudden, in 2018, he just f totally flipped on the same show with Skip them. Uh, Joy oh, yeah. Taylor say on the show, uh, we know what happened while you saying LeBron the GOAT. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. See, little Ken shit like Kendrick, that. Kendrick called Shannon Shaw up out on the show last week. Said something like, you just jumped on the train. Told him, I, I, I've been on, I've been knowing about that, LeBron. That's, that's, yeah. that, that's gay as fuck, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not for sure people <laughs> arguing with y'all about who who been sucking LeBron dick the longest. <laughs> what you know the what I'm saying? fuck? Yeah, he was just you know like, yeah, Kendrick was like, man. I'm, I'm not, let's just say, you, 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 you been on longer than I, I have. have. Nigga, <laughs> I been, I been fucking with LeBron. And you come back with some, boy, you crazy, boy, LeBron been by nigga. Like, nigga, I ain't gonna be arguing with y'all about who the fuck been fuck with this nigga the longest. Hey, man, man, this nigga shot said, but that gay as hell. <laughs> <laughs> that shit looked bit crazy. Y'all niggas over 40 talking about some hey, goddamn man. Boy, I, well, I've been I've been riding this nigga dick longer than you. <laughs> like, I've been, been a LeBron man. Been a LeBron man. man. It is, no, this other shit. Now nah, I get Kendrick. I get Kendrick Perkins. I, you know we just cut up. Yeah. I get Kendrick Perkins some fat some, some uh, props though. He will call. He he'll say LeBron on that bullshit too. Now I be yeah, watching yeah. that shit. He don't just. Shannon ain't gonna say nothing bad about LeBron. Nah. But Kendrick Perkins, man, he, he told Shannon on me, how the hell you gonna sit up? I forgot what it was. Call, call LeBron out on not doing a dunk contest. You know right. what I'm saying? And shit like that. And the Kendrick said he did it in high school. Shannon was like, that ain't what he do or some shit. The Kendrick said, how? He did it in fucking high school. I was like, ooh, he got him then. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So, I mean, that shit. But I, yeah, LeBron will hang, man. He yeah, was that's, hanging, that's man. great. That, that, that was Because I, I don't, in my time, and I like stuff, I like right. AI. But I don't see how anybody can say that anybody was more influential than Michael Jordan. Yeah, that's and that, true. That's, it ain't I even no old yeah. nigga shit. I'm he just took saying. it global. He took the yeah, game he took it global. global. Yeah. Like, it, it, would it be the same NBA today if it wasn't Mike? Yeah. yeah. The jump man. The jump man became the Nike check. They don't even put the Nike check on jump man, on, on Jordan's. Yeah, that became a brand itself. You buy a pair Matter of Jordan's. Now, think about it. Ain't on every NBA jersey they got the jump man on there? Not now? every jersey. Not everyone. It's Nike. The one he's sponsored. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. The, one, the one he's okay. No, it's either Nike or jump man. Got That's it. what I'm saying. You buy a pair of Jordan's. After Jordan 9, there's no Jordan's with a Nike check on them, man. Not one. Hmm. Shit, three ain't got no check on them. I said after Jordan 9. You know what I'm saying? After Jordan 9, 9s, 10s, 11s, 12s, 13s, there's no Nike check on those. A ain't one on the three. Yeah, there's one on the three on the back. You got Nike Air on the back. On the oh, back tire. show got yeah. there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. on the back tire. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, but, but even then, they started slowly cutting. You, you know what I'm saying? There's just one check on yeah. that. They yeah. started slow. But my point is, the jump man stand by itself. Influential? Shit. Who? who? Man, Jordan made the whole 5-5 five five get bald heads. Facts. Bro, I can go on and on with this. You know what? He right. He, he listen. And he more. He the most influential because it's like no matter how good you are at anything, they always say he's the Michael Jordan of this. Yeah. I never. I know it's only one athlete that that stood outside of he's the Michael Jordan of this, and that was Muhammad Ali because he called himself the greatest of all time. Yeah. But anybody who do anything, if you do anything good, they gonna say. I'm the, even Jay Z said, "I'm the Mike Jordan of rap." Yeah. Um, last thing that I got, unless one of y'all got something that y'all wanted to get on, and this is just something because uh, we talked about it one time, but mm -hmm. I, I took it out the episode just so y'all know, just in case you didn't watch the episode. Um, uh, Russia adds LBGTQ movement to its list of terrorist and extremist organizations, could be subject to arrest and bank account freezes. From what I heard, two people have already been arrested in Russia because of LGBTQ affiliation. Um, I I start this off, man. Um, 
in all yeah. seriousness, I think that's wow. That's that's what I'm saying, but yeah. like Russia is going hard, going hard right now. It, like, oh, I might even cut you, you off, could, you but what all I'm saying is, y'all, I just don't think a motherfucker should be arrested or like you know what I'm saying like detained. Penalized for or, or, or yeah, penalized yeah. for what you like in the bedroom. Now, yeah. it, it, I, I I agree with that. Like like yeah. that just that just just that that, that statement alone. Mm-hmm. Like shit. What well, what if he say shit, man? Anybody like to get hit, man? Y'all nigga getting locked up. Your bank account froze. I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like how far is this gonna go? Like what the fuck? <laughs> You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, like this nigga stupid. I'll be thinking about, I'll be thinking about the future. Like, this nigga is on the road, bro. I, I'll be, but buddy, like, boy, come up. But what he do, boy? But that boy, hey, bad bitch, that sucking dick, but the fuck busting in, bro. You know, right at the spot, bro. Oh, we got one. Hey, man, like, like I just think, you know, what I'm saying that, like, you cannot like the way a person displays. Their preferences, right, how right, right, right. how flamboyant a motherfucker is, yeah. or how they talk, go about it, or yeah. talk about it. True. That's cool. We all you know, talk to our own opinions and shit like yeah, that. Boy, but funny. to <laughs> say I am going to arrest you, you for taking dick, it, it, your form of choice of how you do it is insane. That's I mean, like wild. I say, I don't, it, it's yeah. not a you ain't commit no crime. You just your preference. No, Shut it down. No, it's a crime to them. To them, man, that call That's you a, a terrorist, bro. That shit is a crime over there. You know what I'm saying? I like to see that. bitches fuck each other. Yeah, oh, bitch, you get the bumping coochie, them folks swinging through the boom. <laughs> hey man, whoa, brother, we having a party. Hey, you know, what I'm like, what happened to come? You don't got him again. Hey, man. Yeah, got him again. Ain't brother. no threesomes in Russell. Baby, like, nigga, be like, what? Nigga, just don't learn, man. Hey, God, God, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a two-time offender already. <laughs> hey, 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 you go to Russia, man. You gotta go on the God trip. You know, what I mean? <laughs> everybody get that. Hey, bro, hey, boy, the folks don't gave me a family. Boy, hey, two man, I got a time. ten do two out here, yeah, man. I I mean, bad, bro. You, you made a good point, man. Look, man, y'all know, man. We we, we go hard on on the pause. No did it. No did it. <laughs> that shit. That sounded wild. Yeah, you think we go hard? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was gonna let you guys there get it together. This is a weird conversation. And he said, oh, we go hard. Hey, you know what I'm saying? But but like, bro, like with that situation, man. Like it's it, okay. Every every place in the world is different and culturally different. Like right. Some places don't even have TV. You know, third world countries. I mean, you know, what I'm saying certain 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 places morally just stick to a certain code. Now I don't know if I don't know if Russia been like that with that shit. I don't know because you just not doing it. You know right. what I mean? Um, like like it's 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 strong uh laws in Saudi Arabia and and, mm. and Afghanistan and uh what is it United Arab Emirates over there uh what's the one Dubai Dubai they strong laws over there about that shit with that because morally they feel like that's just completely wrong. Do I think though that they should be making laws because of people doing that? Nah bro like that's a look yeah. that's man, a I'm look crazy. shooting on site man. yeah like 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 niggas out here killing, stealing, robbing, shit like that, right there. and I don't think some people should be arrested for stealing if they stealing because they have no other choice. Mm. But if I can't, if I if I have no food, none of what the fuck I'm supposed to do? Ain't nobody giving me shit. Well, I will say this. Yeah, I will say this. I, I don't feel like people. You don't have. The, I don't feel like a person, a human being, don't have the right to take something from somebody else just because they can't figure out how to get it. Mm. I will say that. I, see, uh, I, I mean, I, I'm with you, but it's like, it, it's kind of like, nah, I get I what you're saying, lie, I ain't going to lie to you. Nope, because some, I disagree. Because I'm going to tell you why. Why? Because if I go to, a, I'm still taking somebody, if I go to a grocery store and steal some food for myself to eat, right? And it, let's just say you rich and you live up on the house on the hill or some shit like that right there. Right. But you was giving your money because your parents don't just had money. How come? But that still don't give you the right to take something from somebody else, though, bro. At the end of the day, you no, you, you were just born in a better situation. Mm. I'm, I'm saying that's true, but regardless, it, it don't matter what was handed down. Like right now, if if if, if Cup got down, hand me some money, 
and you try to reach in my pocket and take a couple of dollars from him, like, nah, bro, he gave me that. You can't take what he gave to me. No, that ain't got nothing to do with I don't have nothing else to to I have no other way to live. I am struggling. I have no other way to get it's people out here. You living in the first world country, my nigga. Right. We we go if, if all three of us go to Africa to Somalia right now, we're dead. With these hats on, with these shoes on, with them pants on that you got. Right. And when you go sit up and say, man, they ain't got no right to be taken from me. Yes, they do. Because you brought your rich ass over there in their eyes to their country, flashing shit and shit that they ain't got. Well, no, I get what you're saying. I no, mean, no, no, morally, no, 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 no. don't make it right, though. Yes, you it take do. something from somebody. I, I, I think more to make it right than take from somebody just because you don't got it. No, what I'm saying is okay. your environment dictate what you have to do to survive, bro. It's no different oh, that's than true, that's true, that's hold on, true. wait, wait. It's no different than lions that kill fucking antelopes and deers and shit. Guess what you sit up and say? You that same logic that why the hell they doing that? That's what the fuck they do, nigga. If we go to a third world country where they got 13 year olds carrying machine guns, as soon as you cross over, can you remember now? If you go to Africa, South Africa is a whole nother fucking world compared to Somalia or right. or, or, oh, or, yeah, or and, and Africa, shit like yeah. that. You right. can't even drive through those places. They will stop the fucking caravan and kidnap your ass or whatever the fuck you in. Right. You know what I'm saying? So if you go over there with your first world country thoughts of, man, it ain't right for nobody. These people been starving for years. Nigga, people over there uh, take them pants off of you, bro, and sell them bitches for damn them for, for more money they ever saw. Just those pants. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Right. So yes, we live in the world of of law and order because that's what we've been living our whole life. That's all we know. So that's all you think anyway. Right. Is shit, man, it ain't make, make it right. Man, motherfucker been starving forever. Tupac said it best, man. You got black people out here. We ain't gonna do nothing but ask so many times. First we'll be like, we hungry, we want food. Then the yeah, next yeah, knock yeah. gonna be, shit, man, look here, let us in, we want some food. The next knock gonna be, what the fuck y'all doing? We hungry now. Yeah. The next <laughs> knock gonna be, we kicking the door down. Everybody get on the motherfucking floor. Yeah. yeah. You, gotta, you see what I'm saying? We got, Cause we, cause we got, we got, bro, nobody, that anybody that's against their backs to live, bro, is gonna do whatever they gotta do to fight back. Yeah. The, the kid in school that got bullied a hundred times in that corner gonna end up punching the fuck out your ass. Yeah. Because he's tired of being bullied. He can't go know? nowhere else. He, he can't go nowhere else. So I'm not sitting up here saying, you saying morally it ain't right. And I know, I get what you're saying. Yeah. But what I'm saying is that you got to remember, man, when, when somebody, if I see somebody struggling, I'm going to give them some. Like, right, like, right, right. Okay. like, you may be the type to ride by, don't give a motherfucker on the side. But cut them in the car with me. I'll, I'll pull over, not pull over, but if I see somebody in the corner and yeah. I got it, I'll give somebody, oh, here you go, bro, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. that could be the motherfucker that robbed your ass down the, down, down the line. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you can't really say that that ain't right because cause, cause we live in a world of chaos in 90% of the countries that's out here. That's true. We the only country that, not the only country, us, Russia, China, Japan, mm -hmm. that has law, order, established. And, and obviously some others for y'all niggas in the comments. But I'm talking about them third world countries, yeah. bro. But Man, then, bro, they will knock your ass off for a, for a biscuit, bro. I, just, I think shit, when it comes to survival, though, Morals gone. Man. Morals is gone. That's what, that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like, like now, that's morals. Now, 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 if if we put the the setting in like now, right, man, y'all, anybody, hey, anybody, go figure the shit out. Bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But if we if we over there, you know what I'm saying, in Jamaica and it, Haiti, 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 Haiti and that's shit like that, it, it, it once once it's complete survival. I don't give a fuck how you man, feel about it, but you better come up you, all them pants, man. Yeah, you only the only the only the only, <laughs> the, the, right, the, right, the, the only right, thing yeah. that's afforded you or me a cup, the places we live, the house you stay in, is the fact that there's laws in place for a motherfucker not to come in here and kick down that fucking door and take shit. You we actually lucky. God bless America. Yeah. No, 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 but that's gonna change. <laughs> that's that's gonna you, yeah. change. I'm just saying, yeah. you actually right. lucky because because yeah. when it comes to survival, you better figure out some. Because yeah. niggas, I'm telling you, bro, like these these other, we we lucky we live in a country, one of the best countries in the world that, right. that we got one of the not no more, but second best army. I mean, uh, military right. in the world, and that's that's cause, cause that lets you know your train of thought. You actually think that oh, man, that ain't right. Right. No, nigga, the laws tell you that ain't right. True. Where, where, where can you pinpoint that? I mean, you can say that, oh, the Bible say thou shalt not. Yeah, under circumstances. It's just like, it's just like they say uh, uh, thou shalt not uh, curse or this and that or words have meaning. Like I argued with you before one time yeah. about uh, 
like work like how the fuck they gonna say say we shouldn't curse in them of the word you know what I'm saying yeah or the intention behind the word mm -hmm. should I say but but that's under circumstances man you think God actually think that he he feel like it's something wrong for you to go out here and steal from a grocery store but they done stole shit anyway to get the food in the grocery store see now that's that's what I was gonna say like. But they don't if, even if own you your hunger, you go put something in your pocket in Walmart, but I ain't mad at you, bro. Man, you ain't mad. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? But now, now if you hungry and you got down holding Sister Mary down, now, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, God damn. But that's different. Now yeah, you, you know got, what I'm saying? You got somebody that gets their will. Yeah, they're, they're like not like, it's just but like if, it's, if, if it's survival, man, Sister Mary, fuck. Man, that shit, man, it's over with. Everybody is only out for their own survival. Yeah. That's Everybody, it, it, guess what? A lot of these motherfucking rich niggas, they only got money because they look at Tom Hanks' son. But you can't even tell me what Tom Hanks' son do. He rich as a motherfucker because he's who his daddy is. Yeah. yeah, you see what I'm saying? Silver spoon, what they call it. You know what I mean? So like, now, nah, bro, man, travel the world and go. Bro, I see, I be watching this shit and looking yeah, at these these this channels. Shit remind and, me of like the purge. Yeah, yeah. like, bro, like, look here, G. Boy, you hear that horn go off, boy. <laughs> <laughs> about to get that shit together, boy. You, you nah, are a for it. You, you are a for But it's just like, it's coming now. Yeah. Like, right now. Okay. Ladies, you got arrested for kicking squatters out of the house. You know what squatters is? What's that? Homeless motherfucker. People who, when you leave your house, people mm. who move into your house while you gone, you can't even kick them out. What? When you come, yeah. Right now, right now. In LA and, and New York, I know for sure. You can look up on your phone. It's on uh, Say Cheese. Bet your money. You, right now, Say Cheese or either uh, Hollywood Unlocked. Right now, if a motherfucker, if you go on vacation for a week or so and somebody move into your home, they call those squatters. They just break to your home and move in there. Right. You can't even kick them out. Why? Because they have nowhere else to go. So guess what? It's happening now. Y'all don't even know it. Because it's going to make its way to, to, to Georgia. It's going to make its way to all these southern states and shit like that. You all, you are only afford these freedoms because you live in the United States. But you better learn how to goddamn. But this shit don't mean nothing. Mm. Now, Damn. I know one rule because it happened at my mama house. Like, shit, like, if a straight animal come out, they babies in your backyard. Mm -hmm. Boy, it's a goddamn felony to move them baby, boy. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Like, like if a dog come in your backyard and, like, under, under your car porch or whatever the fuck you got, you know what I'm saying? Like, that and have, like, they, it's puppies. So, y'all basically telling me we technically don't own no property. You ain't never owned no property. But if you move them dogs before six weeks, boy, your ass, but Peter, they got to play for you. Yeah. You ain't never owned no property. We don't own nothing now. Like, like nothing. Like, like what, what do we own now? They can make you move right now. They bring a damn, uh, 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 damn road through here. True. You ain't lying about Eminent that. domain. Mm. They're going to claim eminent domain, pay you for your shit, and get you the fuck up out here. Then if you don't want to do it, they going to say, oh, okay, claim eminent domain and give you what they want to give you for it. But so, like, 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 but. Listen, nigga ain't going to never get his 40 acres in the mule. Shit, all you got to do is wait for a motherfucker <laughs> go on vacation. Yeah, but, but, the, yeah. but, like, this, 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 these countries, man, it's just different, man. And I, and, and back to the Russia shit, okay. I, I think, you know, is it, I, I look at shit like, do it make sense to me? when it comes to just human life. Mm -hmm. It don't bother me none as far as whether or not two men sleeping together in a in spare time or two women sleeping together. That should not be something somebody, the government should say you should go to jail for. That's right. just me. See, that's what I'm right. saying. Like, you should be penalized yeah. for your preference. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's crazy to me. Now, they want to say that it's illegal to do that and find somebody or something. I ain't mad at that. Now, you if you know say, goddamn, bro, them can't be holding a hand, kissing in the public places and I shit. Ain't, I ain't mad. Shit, that's y'all shit. That's, I ain't mad at yeah, that. Yeah, but throwing them in jail and freezing accounts and shit like that. No, nah, man, that's too much. But I think the Russia doing that to do anything against the United States because they, we ain't going to go over there and fuck with them folk. They, right. they, they got too much going on. They, they you know what I'm saying? Is the war still going? Yeah. Was war last year oh, war always going on no I'm saying you talking about Ukraine war they still yeah. fine mm -hmm. your war last year I, we don't know but obviously I probably Russia because they got so they, they, they so much bigger than Ukraine uh, but we like I said we keep sending money over there to them people which which I don't want to hear none of y'all niggas talking no, about they, they did not allow one though no they sent it I thought they got denied. 300 350 million something shit 350 billion whatever the fuck it was no, they sent it I seen it but that's what I'm saying. Like, like, and, well, and man, what the fuck they getting this money from? We supposed to be in debt. Man, we gonna we ain't in debt. 
They just tell you that. So, just, so we, so get what? To keep the people at ease to make them think that we in debt. Oh, we, we can't give y'all black folks no money because the United States in debt. Y'all done saying, oh, we got them $10 billion to Ukraine. How the hell y'all in debt? They pull money from somewhere. But that, that, that's what I, that's They just keep printing. They, they want the dollar they, going they, down. They, yeah, they, but see, guess what? Every country needs the dollar. Well, not no more because they done started BRICS. Mm -hmm. But guess what? Most countries, before they started BRICS, Every country needed the dollar, so they would just keep printing whenever they wanted to. Dollar only come, money only come from resources. Yeah. How many, how many, how much silver you got? How much oil you got? How much yeah. gold you got? And that makes them print money out of that shit. But my point is, is that they, they, black folks, some of them, they can't, that we can't get reparations and all this other shit. But they damn so find money to send another country. You can't even. How the fuck are you gonna send money to another country? You you don't even want to fix homelessness over here now. Y'all done sent three hundred and some trillion fucking dollars to Ukraine. That could have fixed homelessness right there. Yeah. They don't want to build no buildings, just throw people in there. No, nah, it's money, but see, but see, I, mean, I, I mean, a place for homelessness. No, 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 you, I'm, yeah, I'm not, I'm yeah. not arguing with that. that. That's true. What I'm saying is that, like, it, that, the reason they don't want to do it because it's money in crime. Skeet said that shit on this show yeah. episodes back. Y'all yeah. think Skeet just be talking, man. He be saying, nah, some Skeet real be shit. preaching, yeah. though. He said that episode back. We make money off of crime here, man. We sell dope, we kill niggas. That's what the fuck we do. That's what the United States number we one. We know money comes from war do. anyway. Jobs come, what? come from war. Too. I mean, money and jobs come from war. Like anytime, anytime we have war, then that's not true. Why you say that? Because they actually raise the taxes for them to go to war. That's why they used to do the draft. That's why they used to. That's why you always see shit spike up when they go to war because they need money from the people. We have to. We have to give the government more money in order for them. I thought it brought money to go to war. You know, you no, what I'm saying. Well, what Skeet was saying was 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 that the government make money off of crime. Right. The reason yeah. why the reason why they do two things: they build jails, they build schools. Mm -hmm. Why the fuck they both look the same? <laughs> Or old jail is a school. Is a school. Yeah. 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 You see what I'm saying? Because guess what? The, the government make money off of crime. They get $30,000 every single prisoner that's in jail. Mm -hmm. Every single one. The government make money. Bro, you speed money. Mm -hmm. Facts. Ticket got to be paid. Yep. DUI. Ticket gotta be paid. Yeah. Anything, bro. You go to jail, bond gotta be paid. Right. Anything, lawyer gotta be paid. Right. That's the structure of the government. Everything, sell dope, ten years, money gotta be paid. Mm -hmm. You go to the airport with more than ten thousand dollars, that you going to jail, right. even though it's your fucking money. Mm -hmm. Any, the, you, the, you, uh, now it's, <laughs> hold on, hold on. I, now, now I might be in the, the wrong tax bracket. What? But I didn't know that. Yeah, shout out my nigga Dion, man. You go to you go to the airport. Well, ten thousand dollars cash in your pocket or more, your ass going to jail. For what? What's the charge? I mean, that's I don't I forgot what the charge was. I ain't gonna sit. I've been drinking cup, but I know my homeboy. That's a lot of people that got got in some trouble with that shit. Yeah, I don't see people. Saying? I don't see people at the airport get detained for having a, a certain amount of cash on them. Just cash. Yeah. You just can't be walking around with just cash. <laughs> just bread like that on you, bro. But see, that's asking for trouble. But you see, that's how, that's how the United States make their money. That's fucked up. It's, it's through crime. And you ain't technically did shit. Yeah. The CIA done planted drugs in the middle everywhere. But the people who sell it, they, they give the drugs to us, then we go sell it, and they lock us up for it. There's money in the drugs. There's money in doing the crime. That's how we make Now, there's other countries that's flourishing, Dubai and all that type of shit, who don't need crime. In the United States, that, bro, why you think they keep having all these guns in Chicago and niggas killing each other? Why you think every, they just made, you seen that shit, they just passed a law in Louisiana that you can be 18 years old. And carry a, and carry a firearm concealed with no training, no nothing, a, a, a handgun. Yeah. Well, That's nobody want niggas to kill each other and commit more crimes, lock black folks up, get all them young That's ass right. niggas off the street, or they're going to kill each other and get their self off the street. They're killing two birds with one stone. I kill you, but you going to jail, two of us dead. Yeah. I seen, seen seven niggas at the gas station last night, boy. No shirts on, then. Big straps, straps just in they goddamn in they pants, yeah. In the store, talking shit. I mean, you can, what can you do? You, the, the people in the store, they can't kick or they can say, hey, get out the store. Tell my brother, my guns everywhere, but I'm just looking, bud. You know, yeah, I'm what, just though? looking, I'm just like, shit. Except tell him one thing, G, one thing I learned. Yeah. When I would have pulled up and seen someone on the crowd, I would have hopped out and made it eight. Okay, boy, you better yeah, have it on you. Then got down You 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 rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Trying to. Yeah, that's true. I, I, right. I, 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 man, I ain't even I, I, I carry me just for 
just protection of myself. <laughs> this, right. nigga, this nigga, we just posted the, what you call it, uh, the episode, right? They said, y'all need to talk about future album. I'll show you that, cuz, whatever buddy said. Uh -huh. yeah. I said, we got you this week. Swear to God, nigga wrote back. At Bad Speakers, make sure Skeet there. <laughs> 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 and my favorite part, and y'all, my favorite podcast. Swear to God, man, we, we cooking, man. But... No nah, man, crime is what how we make money, man. And that just all like the NRA too far in the government pockets. That's why they keep passing all these gun laws. The NRA yeah. is giving politicians, the government, so much money mm -hmm. to make guns so fucking loosely being able to be had over here. They want to kill each other. That's hey, did you mean. see Chicago just so just sue Glock? Yeah. Cause they're making their guns so easy to turn into a switch. I seen that but, shit. But he made the switch. The nigga that made Glock yeah. made that motherfucking like I think it's like eight or nine or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But but now they making switches out of fucking 3D machines. You see what I'm saying? Like they literally, kids literally just making the motherfucker switch now. Mm. So it's it's crazy out here, man. But y'all ready to get up out of here, G? Oh, oh hold man, on, one thing for me. Y'all been seeing these young niggas smoking helium, man. Smoking <laughs> what? helium? What? What the swear fuck? To God, I swear to God, man. I ain't lying. Y'all laughing. Helium? I was in the goddamn, you know, every, every once in a while, you know, I scroll through the east side. You know, I love the east side of death. Nigga said, but what up, cup? Oh, wait, wait, but what is this? What is that? What you mean? What, what is this? <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a whip it can. Okay. So uh, he got to pump it. <laughs> you was lying, bro. Swear to God, nigga was smoking heat. I say, but what the fuck is that? I'm talking about like. <laughs> nigga chain cartridge on that motherfucker like, like an H2O tank or something, but nigga just drop that bitch and put it in there and keep going. <laughs> I said. <laughs> I, I mean, it be shit like that, man. That shit make me feel old, man. Cause I'm totally lost. But what the fuck? Instantly, I thought it was like a THC. Yeah. It had some in my mind that some goddamn goddamn do weed in that motherfucker. Yeah. Man, that nigga said, no, boy. Helium. Helium. Oh, then you know the shit. You know if you hit a balloon, how you get make your voice. Yeah. So what they do? They 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 inhale it or something? Smoking it. They did. <laughs> Nah, oh, boy. Man, man, I, I swear to God, man. This when, he, shit. when he talked, he have a high pit boy. <laughs> no, nah, they usually make that look like, like they got a shit face. Yeah. Like they got to let it go out. Yeah, yeah, okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> and then they uh, get, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah. bro, I, I just want to know what it do. I don't man, know. I'm good, bro. I get, told him. Get you what just, I told him. Huh? Boy, you'll be better off. They're going to get you a little spray paint can. Spray it in a bag. And just put your head <laughs> just put in, your in that motherfucker. Oh, yeah, but go on and do what you really want to do. Well, you, you seen uh, Fabio Foreign say anybody putting fentanyl in the weed, though. You seen that? Well, they said. <sighs> this shit too real, man. Ain't nothing safe. No Ain't more. nothing safe, man. They already was spraying the weed. Yeah. yeah. I don't smoke, so I don't do no I don't do no more alcohol because I know where that coming from the stove, boy. That bit that went through FDA, but I'm good. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, I, I just, I just ain't never been no, and I know this is a whole nother conversation. Yeah. I just ain't never been no fan of buying shit from a nigga. I don't know where it came from. That's the, that's the main reason why, me personally, I stopped smoking weed. About, Would you buy from the dispensary if we had a dispensary nope, in Georgia? I wouldn't buy nothing from the government when it comes to when it comes to drugs. Period. Yeah. None. None. I don't think I only take Tylenol. And anybody, my mama tell you that right. I can come on right now. Go straight if I to sleep. If I get a headache, bro, I don't take shit. Nigga, I know what to do. Take some water and go to sleep. Nah, water ain't gonna do nothing. <laughs> but I don't, I don't, I don't take. No, I, I try my best. Only thing I ever took, bro, like if I was in, like, just left the hospital to have the tea pulled or something. I take hydrocodone or something, some yeah. shit like that to get rid of that type of pain. Like pain shit, I yeah. would take. But I don't, bro, I don't take nothing, bro. I don't, bro, I don't, I'm not gonna go nowhere and buy none of that shit for none of these nigga, man. These I, nigga. I, I had an old school nigga tell me, you only catch headaches if you believe in them. It's a mental thing. I, I, everything he told me that though, I don't really, I ain't never really had no headache. Well, I had, a, I done had a headache probably twice in the last ten years, literally twice. Because you don't years. believe in them. Mm -mm. You know, bitches wake up and oh, I got I my head, head hurt. Oh my god, my head hurt. <laughs> like no yeah. motherfucker, your ass thinking too hard. I about told her bitch one time, she kept telling me her head hurt. You need to come you that motherfucker then. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm trying to tell your goddamn country ass. I'm trying to tell you. No, I, I don't never, bro. I don't, uh, -uh. That, that's, that's the main reason why, bro. Because I, I started hearing them stories about. How nigga done smoke bad dope and now they tweaking out and tweaking shit. and shit. Yeah. I'm like, I ain't finna be like that, bro. And it, and it ain't even that. And I and I thought too, like I done made it this far. Like I don't need that shit. Yeah. So I'm gonna get y'all one of them helium cans, but I swear to God, bro. <laughs> nah, bro. <laughs> nigga, I in, I, nigga, I, nigga, I, I inhale motherfucking oxygen all day, bro. Are you talking about some helium? Man, I swear <laughs> to God, man. Nigga, fuck that shit, nigga. 
Nigga inhaling goddamn hydrogen and shit, man. Them nigga be inhaling goddamn uh, <laughs> motherfucking Febreze and shit, man. Hey, hey man. Hey, I see them nigga inhale goddamn, uh, what that shit is? Them Glade can, man. Them old Glade plug-in, man. But the what they look like, but I'm talking about. Seen, you know them Glade plug-in be like the little glass thing. But I said nigga put put the fire to that motherfucker boy on the bottom, yeah, boy. Dog food, boy. That nigga that boy hit that motherfucker. <laughs> <like. laughs> hey, that nigga on that dog food, hey, boy. Go through some shit for real, boy. Goddamn, fart in the car, roll the windows up with your homeboy. Boy, shit. <laughs> Hell no, man. I really think it's a whip it can. Man, oh no. Daddy. Let me see. That's some new shit. What the fuck is this? Shit? That second one right there, boy. The black one. Though. Nigga pulled up on me with one of them motherfucker right there, boy. Whipped cream dispense dispenser. He he inhaling this shit. He he he, but he, he, he had to pump that motherfucker. What the hell, bro? Swear to God, boy. Them young yeah. niggas, hey, boy. Them young niggas ain't ain't bullshit. Hey man, yeah, let's get out of here, man. <laughs> we are. Bad Speakers TV, man. If you don't know, I am your boy, Shard. It's cool, boy, G. Yeah, 32 ounce, man. Big cup. Big cup, man. Uh, we will see y'all next week, man. We are out. Yes, sir. Sure. Ski.